Welcome everyone. My muscles have been stiff for so freaking long. Ugh. I'll tell you what I mean later. Welcome to the stream. I know. It's Thursday morning. Good morning, everyone. Or it's Friday evening, depending on where you are in the world. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope no matter what time of day it is for you, wherever you are in the world, that you're having a wonderful day further. Please, I hope that you are staying hydrated <clears throat> and that you're being kind to yourself and to the people around you. And welcome, one and all, to the Everything GM broadcast with me. The we Today we return to grace. Wait, today we return, like I said before, we return to grace, we return to return to grace, to grace, to grace, to grace, to return to grace, yes. <laughs> I hope that everyone is doing okay, give me your mental health out of 10, your physical health out of 10, I make, um, 
Let's make sure that you're doing okay. And if you're not doing okay, we're gonna make you do okay by in by having you enjoy this journey through uh, the, the mystery of a 900 year old AI god. Which will totally be fine and not end in a sad way that makes me cry. Uh, today we're going to do a bit of a recap first. Yeah, we do. We do a TikTok recap every day. Taters, our TikTok recap is going to be... Uh, what are we doing first? Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's just, it's just Palestine stuff. Um... <clears throat> But I think, I think it's okay. We've already done it in the week. I think we can go ahead and do it again on Saturday. So what I can do first is we, part of the recap is maybe let's just go through my, let's just go through my For You page and see what random videos pop up. Why not? That sounds like fun. So let's, uh, let's try. Why are things not... Videos are not playing. Hello? This is so weird. What's hap- Why are videos not playing on my TikTok feed? This is so weird. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, okay. <clears throat> Alright. Welcome, everyone. I hope that, uh, I hope that you're all okay. Um, uh, if you haven't joined the Discord already, you should join the Discord. Tired as fuck out of ten, okay. I'm not doing terrible, I guess, out of 10. Cool. I miss that. I miss the days where we did numbers. Uh, where, where people actually answered my question. <laughs> uh, frantically grabs water. You can't make me. What? What do you mean? That means you are getting hydrated. So that's good. That means I win. I've been in VC for like 20 minutes now. Out of 10. You preempted me. I'm actually very touched by that. Hold on. Are you happy now? Yes. Good morning. Hi. Good night. Thank you. I I I I saw you. I logged on and like logged on like sort of 15 minutes before stream even started and you were already just here preempting me and that's yeah. so nice. Thank you. Uh, it's, uh, it's nice to hear your voice. How are you doing today? I'm okay. Good, good. Very nice. I just add some spagoot. Spagoot? What kind of spagoot? Uh, just some spagoot and some cheese, you know. Wait, it's just, just, like, sp cook spaghetti and cheese? Yeah. Like, no sauce? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. That's I think good. It's, it's been a while since I've had that. Damn. <clears throat> Still sounds good though. Yeah. It was cooked, right? You didn't just like snap off beef pieces of spaghetti. Yeah. Okay. Because that that is it. It can be quite nice, but it's crunchy in the in like the wrong way. It feels. It just like. you just get like the tiny the tiny cubes of cheese, and you just skewer it with like dry spaghetti. Yes, and, just and it's like down, down. it's like little it's like little cocktail sticks. Yeah. Spaghetti yeah, and exactly. cheese is actually just uncooked spaghetti rammed with cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> now, I'll do it again yep. just for everyone. It's just rammed with cheese. <laughs> uh, so, uh, before we get into some Return to Grace, <sighs> we're going to talk about... Uh, we're going to look at... I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't not do this. We're going to look at at least one video from my profile that I've, that I've favorited today. And then we'll, uh, and then we'll look around. Oh, there's one. There is one that I think you should all listen to. That's not about anything serious, but it uh -huh. is just, it is just appreciating people's voice. Hey, good morning, Alferg. I wasn't paying attention to the stream, so I feel like I interrupted something kind of special there. No, that's okay. I just want you to listen to a video quickly. Hold on. No, no, no. There was nothing special at all. Um... Hold on. There we go. How are you today? Tired? Uh, very tired. Right Why now. so tired? I 
because I started taking a nap and then I woke up and then I was like, well, if I'm going to go back to sleep, because I want to go back to sleep, but if I go back to sleep, yeah, it's going to be I'm like... going to be asleep for the rest of the night yeah. and will not make the stream and I mm -hmm. refuse to do that. <laughs> well, that's very nice of you. Uh, but I'm sorry. That, I'm sorry if you're tired. You know, you can just go to sleep, right? Is it the magic? Sleep and I have this weird relationship of I don't like it. You don't like. You don't. You don't like sleep. Like. Why? I like sleep. I I love sleep. Don't get me wrong. I love sleep, but sleeping takes so much time out of my day. <laughs> yeah. If I if I yeah, didn't have to sleep, I would. Roughly a third. Roughly a third, because your brain needs rest. <laughs> Sleep takes so much time out of my day. I mean, I agree with you though. I think if I if I didn't have to sleep, I wouldn't. Even though, as much as I I really love sleep, I really do. I I treasure it. I love feeling tired at the end exactly. of the day and going, oh, I need to, I can't wait to just put my head on a pillow and fall unconscious. It would be great. Yeah. Um, I, I used to have this huge problem. I, I still have this huge problem. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm not going to pretend I'm over it. That I fight. Uh, nowadays, with my new schedule, I'm able to fight it a little bit more effectively. But I have this huge problem with revenge bedtime, like Taters said. Staying up till <clears throat> much longer than I should. But the problem with revenge bedtime is that it causes so many other mental health issues that like could be very easily avoided so I try to give myself a good baseline. I, I talk about this all the time. If you are struggling with just dealing with your... Mm. Oh, goodness. If you are I'm struggling... I'm not the only one who should be going to sleep. Uh, it's 10.30. It's 10 in the morning. I don't need sleep. I got yeah. enough sleep. I got my eight hours last night. It's 10.13, actually? Seven hours. I got seven hours. It's 10.13. You're right. All right, it's so... So I, uh, uh, actually it's 9.13 PM. I had like, um, uh, hang on. I had this, uh, this revenge bedtime, um, thing. And uh, oh. yesterday I didn't I didn't engage with it. Oh, 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 okay. If you are feeling bad, if you're feeling like, um, if if you feel like uh, you you your day to day is not, um, is just sort of getting you down. Bar the actual stuff you need like professional help for, uh, and I do recommend therapy for everyone, regardless of whether you think there's something wrong or not. There is such a thing as a mental health baseline, right? Which is enough sleep, a fruit, food, you know, some hydration. That kind of stuff gets you, it gets your brain enough energy to be able to tackle most of the things that you deal with in a day. Uh, and then the other stuff you can get some help for that you need. But you got to make sure that baseline is there at least. Otherwise you are just, you, you, I mean, you are basically just trying to deal with the day with, both hands and both feet tied and just like hopping through the day instead. I uh, uh, wait. Heron Heron said hi <laughs> with her company YouTube channel because she's working while I watching the stream. Who that was. That's incredible. <laughs> hi. I'm sure, I'm sure I'm sure the algorithm of the of the channel is fine. It's okay. <laughs> It's going to start showing my videos and your boss will be like, hey, what, what, what is this? What did you, uh, what did you do? You, if you want to, if you want to, um, take that away, you can delete the history of the, uh, yeah, 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 okay. You delete the history. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> who, who is this white man that you are watching while on work time? Like while, do, while working. <clears throat> uh uh, the algorithm only got better. <laughs> I don't know, man. YouTube's uh, algorithm is kind of kind of booty. It's pretty ass. I do you know do you know who I get on my YouTube algorithm these days? Star Wars theory. <laughs> you, that's who I get. The absolute cringe lord of the shorts. fandom. 
Huh? When they first rolled out shorts, mm. I just got flooded with gun videos. Oh, okay. Wild. They saw you I were in America and they were like, <gasps> must show. I I could only imagine. Yeah. And I mean, to be fair, the reason I still get them is because I consistently click on them. So they weren't. Was <laughs> so you do actually enjoy it. Okay. Okay, cool. I feel like this is a you problem then. All right. While I'm here, it's weird that they started popping up I'm to begin with. Play. I I wanna I wanna show you Haley Williams. All right. Misery Business is a song about by Paramore. It's very famous, and I want I wanna just we're Great just song. gonna engage our music like our music brains for a second while we listen to this piece of absolute like vocal mastery. This is the isolated vocals of Haley Williams singing. I, I just want you to, to just listen to it. It is insane, actually. I'm about to play you the isolated vocal track from the studio recording of Misery Business by Paramore. Just Haley Williams singing all by herself. It is unreal to hear yeah. it on its own. Check it out. It's amazing. I'm in the business of misery. Let's take it from the top. She's got a body like an hour. Glasses ticking like a clock. It's a matter of time before we all run out. When I thought he was mine, she caught him by the mouth. I waited a long month, she finally set Ooh. him free I told him I couldn't lie, he was the only one for me Two weeks and we had caught on fire She's got it out for me, but I wear the biggest smile Whoa, I never meant to break But I got him where I want him now Whoa, it was never my intention to brag To steal it all away from you now But God, does it feel so good Cause I got him where I want him right now And if you could then you know you would Cause God it just feels so It just feels so good Ooh. Insane Absolutely insane I just wanted to bless your days with, with a video like that Absolutely insane Like that that kind of control While also having she She's able to sing the kind of genre of music that they, that Paramore like creates, and and not like do any notable damage to her voice whatsoever. There is no, there's no raspiness. There's no lack of control. That is, it's absolutely incredible. I I love like every even the high notes here. You can hear that there is no like attempt to crack. There's there's not even a a tremor in the voice. It's just confidence all the way through. You now, but God, does it feel so good? Cause I got him where I want him right now. And if you could, then you know you would. See, even then, even when it is like rasping, it's it's specifically rasping. It doesn't feel like she's straining the voice. It feels like she's just up there doing her thing. So freaking cool. Yeah. So that's nice. The Haley Haley Williams is like a, a masterclass in vocal control for sure. Yeah, yeah, it sounds better than the actual song. It's so cool. That that isolated vocal is just awesome. Okay, very cool, very cool. Uh, there's a video here that I think, I think I'll. Hmm. There's one one of them. Let's see. Should we do this one? Let's let's see what my for you page can do today. Stupid <clears throat> Richard Spencer article like near the end of last year right it was like oh look look at this dapper nazi who doesn't dress the way we thought he would here's an in-depth interview where he gets to hear all of his up ideas in a mainstream media outlet which then led to more interviews with other nazis in mainstream media outlets mm -hmm. and then richard spencer got punched in the face right <laughs> it was an amazing moment in comedy history right? because i don't know if you know Richard Spencer was being interviewed, and in the interview, he was asked about his Pepe the Frog badge. So he was trying to explain to me. Oh, God. And then out of nowhere, a hero came along. <laughs> and punched him in the face, instantly turning him into a meme. <laughs> casting a spell. <laughs> and then every white liberal came out of the woodworks going, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Is that what we should be doing? Should we really be applauding someone for punching a Nazi? Is that how we want to have political conversation? Shouldn't we hear people out? Yeah, no, you should engage Nazis in the marketplace of ideas. That's how you should that's how you should treat Nazis, for sure. Hang on, I'm a little bit uh I would like to spread the idea oh. of my fist in their face. Yeah, correct, correct. <laughs>
Can you send me that vid? Beans likes Paramore too. Oh, hell yeah. Very cool. Hey, it's me. It's me, Tiger, from the Discord. I missed you. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's been ages. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think... Did I... Oh, yeah, you've been... You've been around. I can't, um... I can't actually see you here. Um... Hey, where did we... Where did we meet you before? I'm the Saber guy. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> wow, it's been ages, dude. How are you doing? How's it been? How have you been? How's how's your life been going? Are you uh, are you doing okay? And yes, taters, I will send you that video. Hold on. Let's uh let's go here. But I got him where I want him now. I'm about to play Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know. Let me give that to taters. I'll put it in the music channel. Um, okay. Here we go. Uh, if you punch a Nazi, it doesn't make you as bad as one. <laughs> you know what we should do with Nazis? We should debate them, and we should defeat them. In the marketplace of Hey, he made, he said the thing. He said the thing. I don't really know where that is. Uh, <laughs> I would like to defeat Nazis on planet Earth first. And then after we eradicate them here, you can fight them in the marketplace of ideas. In Narnia. <laughs> I mean he is he is right, by the way. The the marketplace of ideas is an actual thing. Um, but it is an imaginary concept where everyone's it, it is predicated on the idea that all ideas are of equal value and of equal equal merit and should be equally respected and equally heard out. And that's just not the case. Like it's just it's just absolutely not the case. <clears throat> yeah. Whatever imaginary realm it is that you think Nazis can be constructively debated, go for it, right? People get very upset. Oh, do oh, you support political violence? Do you want me to support political? Oh, just slow down, okay? Do I support political violence? <laughs> We're talking about punching fascists in the face, not suicide bombing, okay? Relax. <laughs> do I? Why do I support political? Why the fuck are you a volunteer Nazi safety advocate? Is my question. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. Like, what is your turn? If you turn it around, the question becomes: Why are you advocating for Nazis? That's kind of weird. <laughs> why are you defending Nazis? Yeah, it's a little bit strange that you would. That you would want Nazis to have a platform in any way, shape, or form. That's a funny thing to be concerned about, the well being of hypothetical Nazis. <laughs> well, it's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope. Who gets it? The slippery slope is, is called that way because it's actually the slippery slope fallacy in that it doesn't often exist because we're like, yeah, we should punch Nazis in the face. Okay, and then what about, what about communists as well? And then it's like, no. That's not the same thing. And then that's it. The slippery slope is over. To decide. Who gets to decide who gets punched in the face? If you punch a Nazi, who's next? Hopefully more Nazis. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's that's unfair. You don't just punch one Nazi, you punch them all. You treat them all equally. Stupid Richard yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, now, would corporate approve a temporary price reduction for returning customers uh, no. stupid yeah this is the office I okay i haven't actually i haven't actually seen the office before so this should be fun that's okay Just, i say we fill michael's office with bees my aprs does me a favor <laughs> that's a yeah. randy felt face turn if i've ever seen work one. <laughs> no jim i use a bad apiarist <laughs> fellas why don't we take a five minute break and then we will come back, start fresh. Yo! Sort this out. Is that Idris Elba? Exactly. Hey. Hey, Dwight, can I talk to you? Sure thing. Now, this is a projection of no, over, over three months. months. Yeah. Still have the well, that's fine. No, okay, let me float something out there, okay? The can I just say yeah. that? No, it is too expensive. Yeah. There Ooh. is a hive of bees <laughs> outside the front door. <laughs> we kidnap the queen, extract her alarm <clears> pheromones, <throat> place them on a flushable wipe, and put that in his bathroom. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but the cheapest option 
is to make Michael an offer. <laughs> yes. Yes, I was going <clears> to <throat> say the same thing. We should buy him out. Oh, they didn't. Oh, man. If only Michael had children. That's you really apply the pressure. <laughs> What is wrong with you? <laughs> Jim, you're pretty close with them. You think they'd be up for hearing an offer? Oh, I don't know. You know they've taken a good deal of clients, so... Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess, I guess I could go down there and try to nudge them in the right direction. Well, you know what? Why don't I do it, okay? Michael adores me. I'm the man for this job. Charles, you got my back on no, this? No, Jim, I think you should go. Yeah. Okay. So I'll be back, <laughs> back in a bit. I, every office clip I've seen has me rolling. It's so funny. I just haven't, I haven't seen the full series. <clears throat> Thank you for the kind words, uh, Tiger. I'm actually making a custom saber for you. Any colors you want, which saber color you like. Purple is the best saber color. By far. Purple is the best saber color. It, it oh, is. It's the best flavor. flavor. It, purple is the best <laughs> flavor. It is the best flavor of lightsaber. Licking lightsaber is, is good for your health. This is a public mm -hmm. health message. Also, Darth Talon taught me that. Say it because it's the uh, the, cent the, the, c the center option, which is always the best option, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And the yeah, handle it's, color? It's a, mix between the, it's a mix between light and dark. I, yeah. I'm going to hurt it's you. Old Grey Jedi. I will. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Stop. 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 Before those sorts of That's people my come Star Wars in. OC Please right stop. 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 Before the people come into the star. Before these people come into the stream. Oh, my God. You you're gonna attract what? you're gonna you're gonna bring them in. They're gonna they're gonna like flock to the stream. But as all soon the as they hear someone... You don't like Grey Jedi? No. Ooh. You have to debate them in the marketplace of ideas. I hate you so much. I hate you so we're gonna go and play that Nazi video again and we're gonna apply it to you, <laughs> alright? When we punch one alpha, wow. why stop at one, right? We we're engaging in the slippery slope. Here we go. We're gonna punch a well, hundred alpha. I, I only know one alpha. Uh, the handle color, I think, I, uh, I don't know if you've got like a silvery gold kind of vibe. Do you know what you can do? One of my favorite hilts is Princess Leia's hilt from The Rise of Skywalker. Like we only see it for a brief moment at the end of the film, but it is so cool. I really like that design. You can go with that one. <clears throat> uh, potatoes are real? Taters? Not happening, taters. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's watch more. Are you crazy? What is wrong with you? Oh, another uh, another film clip. Hang on, hang this on. This is. We are back in five, Late night with the devil. Four. Ooh, Wait, that looks like a trailer. Oh, hell divers. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Let's let's watch this. This seems five, fine. Four. This is gonna be a horror movie, by the way. Oh, it's a horror movie. Okay. Here's Mr. Midnight, Jack Dello. Oh, good evening. Night owls, and thank you for allowing me into your living rooms. So this is set again. So this is set in 1977. For you tonight, and I'm very excited for you but it's to filmed in 2024. Okay. I really hope you love it. God, I hope you love it. Please love it. Love it. Oh. I'm trying to host a national syndicated talk show, and I'm trying to help you keep it on the air. <laughs> We all know how important it is to keep our sponsors and affiliates happy, but in my humble opinion, there is only one person who really matters in this whole darn crazy business. Uh, and that is you. Ooh, barbarian. Our viewer. You're meddling with things you don't understand. This could be oh, fairly oh, scary. You know just night, uh, night, just letting you know. To keep an open mind. Please Devilishly good, apparently. And Lily, the young subject of the book conversations with the devil i really don't think it's a good idea jack he's becoming more unpredictable uh, uh of course what tv ladies and gentlemen please stay tuned for a live television we'll do we'll do we anything with the devil we'll do anything for tv what a good idea very cool lily can you hear me oh god one person comes scare one. Good to see you again, Jack. Lily, return to me. Oh shit! This isn't about ratings anymore. There's got to be one jump scare, right? Not going anywhere. How could you let it happen, Jack? How could you let it happen? Please be warned, anyone. Oh god, there's like, there's like cult stuff and everything. It's profoundly disturbing and shocking. Get out there, Mr. Midnight. I can't take it seriously.
I it's it, it's the TV stuff. I'm just there like. <laughs> if I'm right, that's Penguin from Gotham. Who? Uh, what? The Jack. No, it's a different person. No, it's a different person. What is? Yeah. <laughs> I've seen him in something else recently. Hang on. I can't oh. remember what it, what it was. Oh, now. the what the main actor? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <clears throat> well, this is how James Corden got his late show. <laughs> Tiger, you are very welcome. I thought you were making a saber like like ages ago though. Uh, anyway, I think when you look okay. at all of these video games, Hell Divers, it really shouldn't surprise anyone. Oh, that he's the um, biggest game in the fucking polka dot man in. That's what it was. Yeah. In Suicide Squad. Oh, God. Ah, oh, he's in Suicide Squad. Okay. I'm right so now, mad that I missed those two up. So he was. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's watch this. I think when you look at all of these video game layoffs, it really shouldn't surprise anyone that the biggest game in the world right now is a $40 game in Helldivers 2. I mean, it's breaking all kinds of records on Steam for a player base count. I mean, it's already into the top 10 all time. It's past Destiny 2. It's even beat out like Modern Warfare 3. And you see all these companies laying people off, like EA just laid people off and they canceled a Star Wars game that they just literally announced. Sony That's is also laying people off. Wait, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Really announced Sony is also a just laid people off and they canceled a Star Wars game. Wait, 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 wait. Respawn's first person Mandalorian bounty hunter. Game. Oh, I didn't know they were. What? They were well, making. They still a... have Apex? They were making a first person Mandalorian bounty hunter game? Huh? Yep. But we still have Apex? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. That's so cool. What do you mean? Why would you cancel that? Oh, God that they just literally announced sony is speaking also okay star wars star wars outlaws is coming out soon so i i'm, I'm i don't want to speak of apex uh, a apex so as in apex, apex legends hilarious... yes didn't someone they get like something hilarious happened yeah someone got like super yeah, hacked hey hello no, taters. Uh, the game itself got hacked what they happened? were oh the game got hacked. Yeah, oh, shit like the the server the um, it's a uh, i forget what kind of hack but what it, it it's a it's a remote hack it lets p the hacker install hacks onto a person's game yeah yeah, yeah. i saw i saw a video about that yeah yeah, yeah. so it, it lets them take over the person playing didn't it happen in like a championship or whatever Yes. Yeah, and then they they, yeah. they, they like canceled the final of the and championship. And they don't for know how. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's insane. Yeah. Oh wow, very very it's cool. Wild. Apex Legends reminds me of the robot one, game. Yeah. The robot game, like, wait, what robot game? Don't know which. One. There there are so many robot games. You have to be more specific. <laughs> laying people off xbox is laying people off because it feels like every big game that comes out right now spends all of their marketing strategy on telling you all of the fun you're going to have buying additional content whether it's like madden with ultimate mm. team packs or skins in fortnite or modern warfare 3 is hey you can play as characters from the boys it just feels like that's every game right now is hey it's every competitive game every online competitive game story games are still around guys Every competitive game needs this because this is this is just how that industry has moved. They've decided that they can make more money selling stuff to you inside the game rather than selling you a game. So they put a paywall, so the actual content is the stuff you buy inside the game. To have access to that, you have to pay to get in. So essentially what they've created is casino clubs in the sense of loot boxes where you pay to get a ticket into the club and then once you're inside, then you can pay and get stuff while you're there as well. That is what the gaming industry has done. It's basically just turned into a club. And, <clears throat> and, and that's obviously not a good thing. But here's Helldivers where it's taken, unfortunately, it also has that. But it's also taken, um, it's taken a game and said everything that you see in the game, you can do yourself by simply playing the game. So, yeah, and a lot of a lot of games really like marketing themselves based on the concept of you can do other things that aren't our game in our game. 
Like, like Fortnite is just, have you ever wanted to play every game inside one game? You should buy Fortnite and then like pay for the battle pass and stuff. I don't know if you've seen the u the user interface of some of these games, but it's cancerous. It feels like, it feels like a, an illness. Like when you log into the games, there's like notifications everywhere. It feels like a mobile game. It's just pop-ups and here's the chat, here's the social window, here's the battle pass, here's the other battle pass, here's the in-game store on the top, and then just this tiny little area of screen reserved for your character and a little play button down on the bottom. And, and, that's, and that's games now. That's competitive online games. That's why I don't like them. That's why I don't engage with them. But then, of course, you get a game like Helldivers, which is not a competitive online game. But people are craving games like this. That's why, uh, you know, COD sort of COD lobby people are are like flocking to a game like this because it it resembles a game like Call of Duty, but is nothing like it. And I think people, I think this and there's so many other games that have come out last year that have been really, really good that are slowly changing public perception. Baldur's Gate Three was a great example, showing people what good storytelling can look like again. And, uh, and now Helldivers is doing the same thing with, like, teamwork and PvE-based games. So, yeah, it is, it, it's basically, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty insane. The, the, state of, the state of the gaming industry is wild. But, by the way, the layoffs are not to do with these marketing strategies. Like, the layoffs are because, are because they rake in profits from these marketing strategies. Gaming companies are not, <clears throat> gaming companies are only sort of showing any decreases. Gaming companies do not lay off because they are like going under they lay off because they're changing directions because they are because they'd like to sort of collect on the profits that have come in and they don't want that to be burdened by the cost of the workers if they are laying off for troubles then that also flies in the face of what capitalism is supposed to represent meaning the business owner takes the risk right but layoffs happen when their business is in trouble so where's the risk i thought the i thought the owner took the risk <clears throat> and yes, and yes, people are experiencing burnout with regard to like popularity with these sorts of games for sure. Um, <clears throat> uh, ah, Titanfall one and two. Ah, okay. The characters in Titanfall are the same as in Apex. If you don't believe me, search it up. Wait, are they? Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like it's the same universe. It's just... oh wow, that's so cool. <clears throat> Okay, I'm playing Blacklight Retribution. Oh, okay. I haven't I haven't heard of Blacklight before. <clears throat> hey, you're going to have fun spending $70 on a game, and then you're going to have more fun giving us more money for character packs and unfinished games. When you look at things like Helldivers 2, which is $40 for a great, just stupid, fun experience, it shouldn't be a surprise that it's the biggest game in the world right now. Yeah, so... <clears throat> this is the last thing we'll see and then we'll uh let's let's go do um let's go do some return to grace but basically uh, the the video game industry has slowly just spiraled into this into this incredibly diseased reality where now the the games that we play are by default have terrible user interfaces with insane micro micro transactions the main purchases actually come from inside the game and not the insanely high amount of money you have to pay to get into the game just so you can have access to those. And, oh no, we're going to take a break beforehand. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to start immediately. <clears throat> and, um, and then... And then, um, uh... Oh, damn it. Remember, the first microtransaction mount that World of Warcraft released on their store made more money than the entirety of the sales for StarCraft 2. Yeah, 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 I can believe that. I can believe that for sure. That, um, uh, that, that, that phenomenon is coupled with the fact that it's not only the fact that we have more and more microtransactions in game, it's the fact that games themselves are getting more expensive too and not being priced locally as well. So it's all just kind of one universal price that isn't really changing much depending on what country you go to, which is also a huge issue because that unfairly mm -hmm. disadvantages a lot of countries that aren't America or the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. With it's that one said, of the reasons I like the um, I like Thor, you know, the pirate software guy. Yeah, yeah. Because 
his company has like I think it was like seventy percent permanent sale on games in Brazil. Really? Does he have he has regional and, pricing? Yeah. And um That is I, amazing. I can't, I can't one of and I think sales in Brazil have become like his company's main source of profit because of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like people will <sighs> buy your game if it's fairly priced. Yes. Wow. Who knew? Who knew? What a crazy, what a crazy reality. otherwise, you know, Brazil is like one of the biggest countries for like <clears throat> pirating games because they're so fucking expensive. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, But like one of, at least one of his games is like, it's like a permanent like 70% off in Brazil because, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> the idea of, um, <clears throat> yeah, so, so not only have microtransactions in games become more expensive too, but games themselves. I remember talking about how triple a games these 30 dollar triple a games were really were really like quite pricey but they are worth it because they're like the top games do you know we now look at 70 dollar triple a games it has more than doubled in the last 25 years of the gaming industry and here we are still eating the slop i think this this expression has really <clears throat> this expression has really um uh, stuck with me for a while the first time I heard it. And that is that we are just given slop by so many industries. It, entertainment, basically, provides us with generally slop, and we, and we eat it because it's better than our daily lives, because our daily lives are just entire hellscapes for the most part. And, um, I'm not saying that everything is bad about life, we, because obviously there are good things too, but when it specifically comes to, like, economically, our lives are getting worse, and then the entertainment industry gives us slop for more money every year than the quality goes down every year, because we ride waves of nostalgia by, uh, by sort of rehashing stuff that came before, or when there is something new, like, it's made with AI, or there's this new industry standard where they have to be microtransactions or or anything like that and we we eat the slop we do because there's not there's no alternative because we are not part of a, a big game conglomerate company and we can't make games so we just kind of eat it but then you get these these you get these people who actually want to create something that is cool and serves a purpose see Baldur's Gate 3 see Helldivers 2 see um like so there are there, there are a couple of other games i could think of but not off the top of my head and these what? these sorts of developments are things that change they move the needle back to where it should be they change things in a way that makes us actually want to uh engage with these sorts of industries but i think we have all become way too complacent with the style of uh what like most competitive online games do these days i mean it's insane Pay attention to how garbage the user interface of, like, the main menu looks these days of not single-player, like, story games or anything, but, like, multiplayer, like, online competitive games. It's pretty insane. They all have the same blueprint, and it all looks gross. It just, it just all looks gross. Speaking of garbage and gross, I'm going to send you something in DMs. <clears throat> oh, okay. Why are you going to send me something garbage and gross in my DMs? That sounds bad. <clears throat> oh, something happened to your Titan. No. Oh. Um, COD is 120 euros in the Netherlands. Jesus, dude. 120 can, euros. If if you see a game that's like 70, 80 dollars or whatever, I nine out of ten, ta nine out of ten, nine out of ten. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Hang on. Nine, nine out of ten times. Yes. Uh, it will be Activision or Ubisoft. Yeah. Yeah. Or they will be related in, to it in some way. I mean, that's insane. That's an insane price to pay for something. Yeah. I, I just, I, it's unfathomable. It's like at least double what it used to be and you would get the same content from it and you would spend the same time with it. Um, Steam is capable of regional pricing. Yes. This is why I really enjoyed having a South African account. I've now switched over to a Korean account because my South African account doesn't have any money anymore. But 
when I still had a South African account with Steam, South Africa has some of the cheapest games comparatively on Steam. Our regional pricing, which is really, really, uh, it, it, it favors us quite a lot. So I can actually get games for a lot cheaper in South Africa than I can in Korea, for sure. And Korea is still a little bit cheaper than the United States, but <clears throat> um, but it's much more expensive than South Africa. So I was very sad to leave that account behind. Uh, uh, my fiance is amazing. She remembered a pair of Naruto gloves I lost a long time ago and just got me a new pair. Ah, that's so nice. That's so cool. <clears throat> Are you wearing the gloves right now? Are you are you wearing them right now? Are you gonna run down the hallway with your hands like trailing behind you? Nothing but the gloves. Go on, do it with nothing but gloves. Yeah, go on, do it, do it, do it, do it. Extra laundry folding privileges for getting new Naruto gloves. <laughs> uh okay. So I will just on. On, on the topic of getting, you know, premium currency in-game. Um, yeah. Helldivers 2 actually lets you do it at a reasonable rate, where, say, yeah. Overwatch 2. You could do oh, it in Overwatch 2. Yeah, but it would take but you, like, two if, years of playing. No, if, if you spent an entire year doing every daily and weekly challenge, yeah. you could afford one skin. Yeah. No, it's, 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 it's so stupid. It's so transparent yeah. as well. Like it's like I want to spend expect... an entire year so I can get one skin, and that's doing every single challenge, not missing a single one of them. Do, do they do they expect people to just not figure it out? The, uh, this is I think I I genuinely have it in my head that some that some marketing suits think that the populace is just is just stupid, just generally stupid. <clears throat> oh wow, they're fingerless Naruto gloves. Oh wow. Okay. Hey, oh yeah, BT sacrificed himself. My lover BT died. <laughs> I haven't played Titanfall 2, but I know that the story, uh, I, I know what happens in the story, and it gets quite sad. I mean, you play the whole game with a Titan, and then, you know, they, they sacrifice oh, themselves. No. Get sad. Totally, totally understandable. Okay. Taters, are you here? No. Okay, cool. Oh. No more Return to Grace. Goodbye. <laughs> Stream done. Thank you, everyone. That's that was fine. good. We'll just continue See you without time. <clears throat> okay, Ash and I will just hang out in voice chat. Yeah. Yeah. Alone. Unsupervised. What could go wrong? Nothing. Only go Everything right. Will go perfectly fine. How about this? I'll go. <laughs> It'll be an amazing time. And then, and then you can have fun. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go and refill my water. Uh, keep, keep each other company. Entertain the masses. Oh. Oh. And, uh... <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean you could do both. Oh, Alfred. The Alf the masses would be entertained. The Alpha would be entertained. I'm sure the Alpha would be entertained <laughs> as well. Uh, I'm I am pretty easily entertained sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough. <clears throat> I feel like you would probably lose the stream. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Can I join? You the know, call? for copyright issues, because Ash and I would be singing or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's we'll what I meant. <laughs> sweet, sweet music. <laughs> you, can, you can join the call, of course, but uh, we're going to be playing a game soon. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get some water. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, everyone, keep keep chat entertained. Keep yourselves entertained. I'll be right back. Don't go away! Now I want to go away. My life. Now, now I want to <laughs> leave. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <clears throat> I'll be right back. I have to cough. Ah. Hello. Hey.
He's. I think he's refilling his water. Mm-hmm. How are you guys doing? I'm good. You been good? Yeah, I've been good. I've been pretty occupied with like people wanting to buy a saber, so I needed to like put the other project for him aside, but I'm working on it. So. But he wanted a purple, purple saber color, so. Right now I'm playing the game Blacklight Retribution and it's, it's not an easy game to play, but I'll figure it out. Oh, and I finished the um, Jedi Survivor and the other game. Alrighty, I'll be back. Hey, oh, did you finish Jedi Survivor? Yeah, I finished it. Hi. Hi, hello. I finished, I, I finished uh, Survivor. But very nice. Broke me personally, I'm like stupid, and I run into fights. I can't win. So <laughs> that doesn't mean you're stupid. You're just you're just brave. No, but I just told like the others. Like I had too many people uh, requesting sabers that I needed to put your uh, project aside. But that your project is, I think, longer than the others. That's that's totally cool, dude. I no no rush at all. I don't really like. I yeah. I don't I don't mind at all. There's no there's no pressure. <clears throat> Just do your thing. There but is no expectation game, of you Blacklight. to. Yeah, Blacklight Retribution, right? What is what is that? It's it's not very easy, but I like it. Oh yeah. I do like it. It's, only my my sensitivity is low. Why? <clears throat> Maybe you should change it in your I'm settings. Not... Uh, all right. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, I have new water. You should definitely have new water. And I will. Uh, let's get back into Return to Grace. Taters, are you back? Are you? Are you have you? Have you survived your coughing oh my fit? God. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, oh, oh mm, no, nope, not yet. All right, should I should I wait? You, sh is it okay to start things or? <laughs> You're good. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Try not to die. Are you gonna All do right. a What's that? Are you gonna do a recap? Yeah, are of course. Gonna, we're gonna, gonna like we're gonna explain okay, everything that's been that. going on. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, all right, Tiger. If you're gonna hang out in voice chat, uh, we're gonna play. We're gonna play the game that was uh, that was decided on stream. So that'll be our focus for now. <clears throat> Feel free to join in if you've seen it. There'll be it'll be streamed as well uh, uh, in Discord if you want to watch that. <clears throat> oh, but I thought like I can be quiet if you want. Oh no, for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's fine too. If you don't feel like you, you don't have to say anything. But yeah, no worries. No, but I thought like, are you guys stay in? You're gonna oh you like you ended the stream or No 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 we're gonna focus on our game now. This is the the game that we were gonna play on stream anyway, that's gonna be the focus now. Alright. Yeah. Which game? <clears throat> it's called Return to Grace. It's a it's a really cool little story game about um uh about about AI and it's uh uh we, we played the first part on Tuesday. You can check out the, the video on YouTube, but <clears throat> This is now part two. We might just finish the game as well. So we'll see. But like every time I was like building something, I was literally watching your videos. Oh, nice, dude. Super cool to have you around. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, because you're like a cool guy. You're, you're, you're a cool dude. Thank you. Just remember, Actually, um, like you don't have to be like actively participating to be part of the community. If you if you watch the videos and that's enough, it's nice to have you around. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> With that said, oh, wait, hang on. 
Controller time. Do I need to buy a scope? Yeah. Right. As usual, I'm a big fan of the music. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I think we were... Were we on the top? I think we were. Oh my god. You guys, you guys can see the stream, right? Are you guys on just on? Are you guys on Discord stream? <clears throat> yep. Okay. Yep. No, yep. There. I am. Hey. All right. Let me let me get. I'm the... back. Are you are you back? Are you alive? Beans is making me tea. He came in and he was like, "You sound not good." Yeah. 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 Probably. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Are any of us ever truly really alive? That's a good. That's a good call. I no. Think. <laughs> good. Good analysis. Yeah, it's like, oh, thanks for letting me know. Yeah. <laughs> Except that I couldn't actually say that because I was coughing too hard. But <laughs> so an even more accurate analysis. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he knew. That the first time. You sound not good. Thanks for <laughs> letting me know. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Really appreciate. That's kind of how it works. Or I text it, <laughs> and then he looks at his phone. He's like, really. <laughs> Uh, Alright, while this beautiful, beautiful music awesome. uh, keeps us company, let's do a recap. Where we last left off... Hang on, is that not a bit loud? No, no, it's still the same as it was. It is. I think we're okay. It's louder on this screen than when you're in the game. Yeah, that's true, that's true. It is main menu <laughs> stuff, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, where last we left off... We discovered that on the Ju on one of the Jupiter's one of Jupiter's moons, uh, namely Ganymede. Uh, let me turn this down just for the recap. There we go. Uh, on on one of Jupiter's moons, known as Ganymede, a frozen over ball of ice, we have discovered a 900-year-old mystery: the key to humanity's downfall. Where 900 years ago, a uh, a, a, a in sort of sentient AI. Uh, that became like a god to us and ran the solar systems known as Grace, mysteriously disappeared, putting, plunging humanity into a 900 year long dark age. Since that time, Addy, uh, we, we use AI quite frequently now, like Addy has a very tiny AI that helps her in her little like shuttle or whatever. Addy crash lands on Ganymede. Uh, she is an archeologist and she is here to discover what happened to Grace. She's now entered the spire, and together with the aid of Grace's various AI, like, little configurations, namely starting with logic, control, and empathy, we have made our own little configurations between the two. Logic and control gave us someone called Jack. <coughs> logic and empathy gave us someone called Mom. And control and empathy gave us something called Pal. And each of them are represented by different types of people with different tones of voices, different styles, uh, and different personalities. And each of them are serving uh, a different purpose and getting us where we need to go. It's been very, very, very interesting so far. We have just come to the point... Uh, give me a second. We've just got to the point where... Um, at some point, we needed to... Well, basically, we were trying to get to the top of the spire. <clears throat> but unfortunately, logic wouldn't let us get there. And when we found, when we asked why, she told us to go and find the name Everett. When we turned on the power, Gra we heard Grace's full voice. Not any of the AI configurations. And she called out to someone called Everett. We soon traveled to the residential levels, and after getting to level three, we learned that Everett was in fact someone called a keeper. When the, the reason for the Spire of Grace, Grace ran the entire solar system of human colonies for a long time, which means that everyone from all over the solar system came to the Spire and then recorded these messages. They were called to the Spire by Grace, like this pilgrimage, and they left these messages for her called wishes. Uh, where they would basically pray to, you know, the AI god, 
and they would say, you know, have my sports team win or look after my dog or like, I'm feeling a bit sick, help me feel better and things like that. Like all sent to Grace and Grace would answer in the way that she thought best. And we learned that Grace would answer in the form of like sermons that she would hand down through her keepers. And one such keeper was a man called Everett. We don't really know what their connection was or why Grace called out to Everett rather than anyone else. But we know that Everett is somehow important and Logic also thinks so. So hopefully now that we have some more about Everett, we can finish exploring residential level three and then we can move on up the, tur uh, up the turbo lift to another area of the spire where hopefully we can get to the top and find Grace. I think that's it. Did I miss anything? I think that pretty much covers it. We I also it, yeah. know... Yeah, we also know that Everett at one point stayed just as a, like a visitor and ended up staying on and becoming oh. a keeper. Oh, yeah. So he started as a visitor and then he became a keeper. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Then here we go. <clears throat> I would just like to point out the mischaracterization of sports team winning there. Ma what? Why? Because someone did literally ask to have their sports team win there. Yes, but the way they asked it. Oh, they said like they said like um, destroy them, like space them out of the airlock. Yeah, it was pretty wild. Okay, um, I think. Okay, we we we've stopped the game in a very in a very different place than where we started. Oh no, did we? Oh, it didn't save us. Okay, all right, it's fine. All right, let's uh, let's do, well, I guess this will be a recap for What's us. What's the then. code? Of course. Boom, 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 boom. I am able to enter the codes directly if you would like. Let her do it on her own if she wants. Yeah, no, go Any away. Any way of knowing if this was Everett's room? The records only give the level. We'll just have to look around. Okay, so we're going to recap these things because they don't actually save at a, a point that is, like, exactly where you were. So we're just going to have to redo these. We must these. have just got lucky. Yeah. Beans and I right? did it in two parts. <coughs> we just must have got lucky where we happened to stop was where we wanted to pick up. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I thought much about what I'd say game? when I got here. I know it's important <clears throat> for my parents that I make my wish count, so... I guess. I wish for them to be proud of me. Thank you, Grace. Damn. All right. Let's try this one. Hey, Grace. I really don't know why you would choose me. I guess no one really knows why they're called to the Spire, but I'm greatly honored. At my age, I thought I would that's all I can recover from this one. Sounds like Grace chose who came here. Yeah. That explains why think... Grace arranged all <clears> the flights <throat> to and from the Spire. She was in control of it all. Do you think that that was Everett, maybe? No. Because hmm. But started... it was probably the father of the previous message. Since oh, it could one. have been, yeah. I was going to say there's a... Uh, it probably wasn't Everett since he, at this point, he was a keeper by the time that everyone was like doing these things. Also the last, we did have one more thing to do down there. <clears throat> All right, give it to me. Oh God, it gets more difficult. Oh yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let's move. Oh. Looks like Olympia Mon Ah, uh, this is the the sports guy. I guess the team's old enough. This is Mark Anthony Wong, and I was called to Grace from our station Phoenix. Not sure if anyone will hear this, but the whole tube system is shut down right now. People are not happy, and I'm getting a little scared, to be honest. I'll be locking myself in until the shuttle returns, and I'm leaving this in case uh, something really bad happens. That's Damn. a little ominous. Yeah, it's pretty wild. I think like, um, <clears throat> I think it's, 
it it it's quite it's quite cool to be listening to these messages from like 900 years in the future. The fact that they're still around is pretty impressive anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is so finicky. There you go. My wish? Oh, I'll tell you my wish. <laughs> Ten years ago, we're on Venus at the Big Dome. Huge crowd. Olympia Mons favored four to one, loses five to one. Six years ago, on Earth against South Union, loses two to one. Oh, no. Two years ago, South Union again. This time up north, I took the boys three months round trip. They go 90 minutes, no score. Extra time, no score. South Union takes it again in penalties. Oh, no. You want my wish, Gracie? The next World Cup is on Mars. I wish that Olympia faces South Union again and destroys them. Like, space me out the airlock, humiliated. Wow. That would be a game. My team That's lost. My oh, no. So how do I end this? I will smash my TV. Still a crap team. Perhaps Grace was rendered inactive by football hooligans. <laughs> Grace likely fostered sports as an alternative outlet for uncontrolled aggression. <clears throat> of course, people would come to her to share their passions. <sighs> okay. And then, I think did we we did did we do the one up here or did we do one down there? I can't quite remember. Uh, I think- Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, this was the one we did because we went up here and talked about sport. Okay, cool. Here you go. <sighs> yeah! That's it. I'm smart. Yeah, yeah, we did do this one. Okay. Someone left a portrait. Mm -hmm. Hello. I'm on 80 kills. Wow. Najisha, she was so excited. What's that? I said I'm on 80 kills. That's nice. Okay. Yeah, good job. When wow. I got the summons. We talked about this for months. Who we could help. Who was most deserving. She honestly believed we could come up with a wish that could make everything perfect. Don't, thank you for choosing me. And thank you for letting me delay coming here. I want to be true to her memory, her wishes, her unlimited love for humanity. But my only wish, the only thought I have is to have her back. I want her back. There couldn't have actually been anything Grace could have done for her. Grace allowed her to voice her grief. That... <clears throat> uh, the, I think we said this the last time, but that's the same... That seems like the same uh, uh, voice actor as Empathy. Yeah. I gotta jump out of VC and back in. My Discord is laggy. Oh no! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's see if we can fix it. Uh, it might be the it might be the server location. Let's see. Um, should I change should I change server? Is it still laggy, Taters? Um, I'm just just about to jump out, so I'll jump out and you can keep playing, and I'll let you know if it's still laggy okay. when I get back. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, that was lucky. The tube system is no longer yeah. accepting wishes. If anyone knows how to reach Keeper Everett, please let him know. Keeper Everett. Yay. Keeper Everett. It sounds like Keepers were spy or caretakers. When did Everett stay on this floor? 2955. That's 20 years before this message was recorded. So he stayed on after his visit and became a Keeper? Why was there no record of that? I would think answers lie at the other end of these vacuum tubes. Mm -hmm. From what I can tell, the tube system runs through the central elevator shaft. Logic? You gonna let us in, <clears> considering <throat> we know Everett was a keeper? But do you know what a keeper is? We'll need access to the elevator to learn more. Ah, oh, a classic paradox. Logic. <laughs> Fine. If you're done snooping around, I will grant you access to the elevator. Or you oh, could uncover snooping more around access. because you told us to. Yeah. More about the people who came here. Reaching the beacon is like the priority. You must move on. Okay. 
We're gonna go up there first, last, because that's the one we we had we didn't do yet. We did this one, I think. Bum, bum, bum. Ah. Okay. Perfect. This one's easier because we it's like the the other one, I guess. I don't know. Oh yeah, this is where we saw the writing on the wall. Right. Okay. Only Grace. Are we allowed to draw on the windows here? <laughs> Certainly not. The people who did this were looking for trouble. They were tracking something here. Terra cycles, maybe? They'd lost sync with Earth. Or the spire lost power. What were they drawing this with? Charcoal? I don't recognize these words. They look like technical or uh, medical terms. A list of supplies, maybe. Mm. Or a list of demands. My demand is that you go to the <laughs> elevator at once. Oh. <laughs> I, my favorite thing with control is Logic saying, you're a four-year-old, and he goes, you are a four-year-old. <laughs> Logic will Ooh. open the way to the beacon. You must go to the elevator. Go away. Hold your horses. Ah. Ah. There you go. Doubt you'll ever get this message, Grace. We've been waiting weeks now. With I hope Keeper Everett is okay. I've been told his sermons are wonderful. And I hope he will be able to deliver the word of grace again soon. Make things work. I'd like you to know that we still love you and think about you. Great comfort to our family over the years. We've all made the for us. With your wisdom, you are missed. So Grace would receive wishes and then leave people with instruction in the form of sermons. Could that really be all there was to it? Ideas are powerful. Perhaps just returning with a more enlightened perspective was enough to move society toward common goals. Highly unlikely. Grace must have had some control over planetary infrastructure, if she was to have had the influence you suspect. Uh, it's w another detail that's quite cool about this is we walk at a certain speed when we're outside and then as soon as we go inside we slow down and I think that's really cool I like that there is one speed it's a little bit um, it's a little bit uh, jarring at first because we're used to having like a sprint mechanic in a lot of games but I really like the game is taking you through at the pace that it wants you to go at like we're walking just normal like look at that that's just regular walking just super cool I like that animation as well I feel like it, it feels very real and then when we walk inside, we actually slow down because it's a it's an enclosed space, and we're actually at the destination that we're supposed to be at. It's just super super cool detail. Here you go. Bum bum Great. bum bum. Hey, what happened to the lights? Oh, I believe control hey, has turned the them lights. off, Addy. Not cool, oh. boss. Control. You'll need to use your helmet light. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Oh! What was that? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did someone use a soundboard on Discord? No. Seriously? That was a thing? Oh my god. This whole thing is destroyed. Yeah, the using it to make a giant bed. Oh my god. Look how beat up this is. It must have been done in anger. Yeah. I believe fear also played a part here. Oh, all right. Why do you insist on defying me? I'm starting to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been thinking a lot and I feel like you know, there's been peace for like centuries now, right? But I watch the old Halos, and, and there's wars, and bad guys, and pirates, and people who need saving, and it's exciting, right? And of course, you know, it's awful, people dying, but I feel like there's no, like there's no way to, like, prove yourself, you know? Nothing to fix or, or protect. Does that make any sense? I just want something, like, anything at all to happen. I guess that's what I wish for. You know, not like a war or anything, just, just something. So this guy was just bored? <sighs> like me. I think this was the last room. It is. Finally. Oh. 
<clears throat> yeah, that one's kind of loaded. <clears throat> yeah. There is an argument out there that if we lived in a place of peace, if we lived in a place where... Um, if we if we lived in a utopia that people would get bored and that wars would start naturally i think that comes from two fallacies number one the fallacy that uh that utopia is possible because it's not we will never have it that doesn't mean we shouldn't strive for it but the idea that we will have a perfect place where everything works exactly as it should all the time is impossible and we shouldn't okay. We you would if I was in charge. <laughs> we shouldn't <laughs> pretend. We shouldn't pretend that it's it that it would be possible. <clears throat> but the second fallacy. Um, the second fallacy is that is that people would be that if if we were to create a world where people's needs were met, <clears throat> that people would be bored enough to like want to start wars that's not what meeting needs means meeting needs does not mean you live in a world where you've reached the end stage and that's a huge fallacy meeting needs means you can survive and doing what you want creating the art that you want and creating the the sort of situations that you want in your life having the freedom to do those things with your basic survival needs met already would catapult us way further than we could possibly imagine technologically, medically, creatively, artistically, etc. This this idea that meeting our needs equals boredom is an incredibly damaging fallacy because it flies in the face of what meeting your needs actually means. And that means allowing yourself to actually express yourself in the way that you want to. It's the opposite of what you think. But unfortunately, there is a narrative in place that many people believe where uh, where if you are given a house, food, shelter, clothes, um, medical care, all that stuff, that somehow you will find nothing to strive for in life. And that's just fundamentally not true. You will be able to strive for much more in life if you have your basic needs met. The fact that our basic needs are not met automatically in a modern world such as this one mean that most of our energy in a day has to be dedicated on strive dedicated to striving for that just for survival not for exploring boundaries uh, having new experiences engaging in new skills talking to new people but actually just living just continuing to survive if we take all of that pressure away, it becomes much easier to engage in new experiences, to be less bored, to do all these things. And unfortunately, this mindset comes from people with this world's perspective, people who, who find it difficult to imagine a better world where, where their basic needs are met. This is where this fallacy comes from. They think that they would be bored uh, because they're not constantly fighting for scraps. Uh, so that they can survive at the end of a day. Uh, but it is it is difficult when the world around you is constantly thinking that um, uh, when the world around you constantly tells you that this is the best there is it, and, and, and this is like the natural state of humans, it does feel very difficult to escape. <clears throat> but yes, two fallacies uh, out of this way of thinking that if we just have all our needs met, we'll be bored. Number one, uh, not the case. If your needs are met, you will explore other things and you will be the opposite of bored. And number two, uh, that utopia is possible because it is not. <clears throat> One of those needs being met I is think... not being bored. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Taters. Yeah. I think it's also really telling what the game creator's mindset is on this is the only... AI that responded was the child. Yeah. So oh, like I feel like yeah. they're trying to like express that that's a very childlike oh, mentality. Interesting, yeah. <clears throat> Good like, catch. Like they grew up, you know, seeing these glorified, oh look, war is so cool. Look at these yeah. movies that we had or whatever. Yeah. Look at these cowboys, that's so cool. And they're showing that that's like a childlike thing. Yeah. At least that's my that's what I took from it when I saw it was that mm. like this isn't a fully grown adult and 
we know that because we've been told that there's different ages that went to see Grace. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that's what they're kind of trying to like tell us is like this is this is one of the younger people who had a lot of life to live to yeah. maybe learn that's not the reality, right? Yeah. I I think that I think that's true. That that's that's definitely worth merit. I didn't um uh yeah, I didn't catch that, but that's great. <clears throat> I think carrying that further, I know I know plenty of fully grown adults who believe that as well. And I think that in that case it would be For sure. it would be this I it would be this um this feeling of an underdeveloped I think it definitely it definitely relates to the the type of media that we consume that that makes people believe that the only excitement is li in life is fighting for your survival uh like this like this obviously younger person um uh believed as well and like we said before well, like, he didn't want to fight for survival he wanted to like he just know, wanted some ex to prove himself he, he wanted some excitement some glory yeah. some yeah but i know lots of fully grown people who want that as well and i think that comes from that part of your for sure. that part of your life not being developed past that childlike stage like like you said <clears throat> yeah for sure and i think that's also indicative of like we live in the world where that propaganda is being fed to us mm. they are living in the world where that's not their reality they aren't fighting for it and he kind of has this glamorized idea of what yeah. that would be yeah. yeah yeah you know but it also is very like it. it's very um noticeable when they talk about stuff like that why sports were so important to that guy because mm. it's like how important are sports to us right now? And then yep. that might be one of the only ways that guy has to, you know, entertain himself. That which, might be his outlet. Which makes Because me... he doesn't have glory finding, yeah. you know, he's not fighting for himself. He's not yep. climbing the corporate. He's happy yep. the rest of the time. So he's got this, like, huge emotional attachment to some Unhealthily, obviously. Mm. But he's got this huge emotional attachment to that because he sees that as, like you know, his outlet for that. Which makes me think that the world that Grace created wasn't really... Maybe she met the basic needs of people, but... Oh, you can see that she didn't, though, because one of the wishes says that they were still struggling. But you can see mm -hmm. that all Grace did was take the world that we lived in, met more people's basic needs, but didn't actually create anything new. And I think... It allowed us to develop on a huge scale that spans the solar system. I mean, I don't know. I, I, we don't know the rest also, of this plot, but yeah. It also seems like Grace, while uh, you know, like being in control of all like the systems and that, mm. she didn't actually do anything beyond that. She just told others how to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Through these like wishes and sermons. Yeah. Yeah. The the fact that like also. Mm hmm. I was just going to say, also, they talk about how they've had peace for centuries, but that doesn't mean that everyone's having their needs met. That's also yes. true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, yeah, I just think that um, if if your only outlet is sports, then then the world has not created enough avenues for you to pursue. Like, for sure. Then your life is really not that great, to be honest. Like, I think everyone for deserves sure. more opportunities to to attach themselves emotionally to things and if you only have one thing in your life that you are emotionally attached to and you get to you, you put everything into that that's not exactly healthy we've got it we've got to branch out <clears throat> i've been instructed by grace to make a wish oh not something big and altruistic not for someone else but for me jack's voice a real honest wish my heart's true desire Honestly, this this long flight to the middle of nowhere, months without my family, uh, missing the harvest with a per, per diem that barely covers expenses for what? Some mystical song and dance that makes us feel like we're somehow part of this oh. robot theocracy. This whole thing, the temple, the hushed tones, the, the awe that people seem to show this place is ridiculous. Oh. My honest wish is to be left alone long enough to actually make some headway on the farm and pull in a decent crop. Damn. It doesn't sound like everyone was happy to come here. For Grace to understand what made people unhappy was just as important as knowing what made them content. Hmm. But what if what makes people unhappy is you, your existence? Mm-hmm. Mm. 
<clears throat> How do you reconcile yourself? I know with I'm that? the biggest thing that makes myself unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> but you make me so happy. Yay! Aww. <laughs> Get a room. You're looking pretty smug. What's the pattern? <laughs> Come on! Of the penguins that we just walked through. Give me the thing, logic. Another easy one. Light the four corners of the pad. Oh. You really didn't need my help for this one. It would be a common pattern when guessing symbols. I have to give you something to do, right? <laughs> what do you mean? I can't guess this one. Oh. Especially since most of the last ones were yeah. complicated symbols. Yeah, what do you mean? One was just an egg. That's not complicated. I mean, yeah. But, every yeah, after the third it. try. The keepers must have been busy. <laughs> it's what Grace does with the wishes that should interest us. Mm, yeah, I want to know. I want to know how she responds to all of these, because these are just like we've just asked. The things that people have asked for in these wishes have been fairly normal, just fairly normal things that I suppose people pray and and ask for a deity to do for them all the time, like in the modern day. Uh, but yeah. how she how she actually grants them or doesn't grant them, I'd be more interested in. So let's see what's next. Come on. Ooh. Ooh, this is fancy. Very nice. Have you guys seen, like, the style of this is fairly, like, I want to say punky, like steampunk, cyberpunk kind of vibes? Yourself. I didn't think reading. In that there's an AI and all that stuff, but once again, this feels like, um, oh, what do they call it? It's like Bioshock Infinite. It's the same architectural style as, like, Bioshock Infinite inside this place. I can't remember the name of the of the thing, but it's like something punk. And um it it gives the idea that that um we have so much new technology, but it's still the same old humans, like that kind of this like society hasn't changed, but the technology has leapt forward way too far for the society to keep up. So it's just the same people that you would recognize, but just with way more toys to play with. And that's why we're seeing people make the same wishes use the same like turns of phrase uh get the same use the same kinds of emotions like they, they just don't the humans who made wishes here don't feel necessarily disconnected from someone like Addy, even though 900 years uh are between those people and us there should be way more differences but of course uh, when you have an AI that cannot create new things that can just facilitate the running of current things for as long as she can, uh, things don't kind of, things don't really change much. And then you give 900 years of a dark age, and I don't think that there would be, maybe there would be a bit of a stagnation. Anyway. Emotion was part of your programming. Human emotion can just as easily be deduced from context. You seek out challenge, so I assume you enjoy it. <laughs> you met the conditions of my challenge. Therefore, it could be assumed that you would take some pleasure, or perhaps pride, in the achievement. Correct. That's an excellent assessment. Does that mean I'm out of a job? <laughs> if by job you mean making irrelevant observations, then no. I will leave that with you. We have arrived at our destination. Okay. Um, again, there is a fallacy here. Logic is... Logic is um, shooting herself in the foot in the sense that logic is not separate from emotion. Logic is, in fact, rooted in and originates from emotion. Oh, wow. Here we go. The Spire Pilgrims must have gathered here. Oh, to new music. To keepers' sermons, I guess. It's People will return oh. here once the beacon is restored. Flock and shepherd will be reunited. Whoa! Why are you making the lights yeah, flicker? Because he's control. He's in control of everything. God, he's such a megalomaniac. He he's such a megalomaniac. Megalovania? Yeah. Da -da 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 <laughs> okay, so this was. This is obviously a cathedral. God, that's a high ceiling. Wow. Oh, oh this is beautiful. Stained glass often tells a story. Uh, this stained glass seems to just depict a scene and it's the same scene again and again so okay that's fine oh oh someone was moving or overturning chairs very strange signs of conflict 
Yeah. Or a strength contest? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oof. So that I uh, yeah, a little a little lesson that sometimes it's not that deep. Uh oftentimes it is that deep, but I think not everything has the deepest of meaning and to to believe that it does is to exhaust yourself is to live a life of exhaustion we've talked about this before uh in this game actually but trying to trying to find um a a deeper spiritual meaning in everything is just uh it, it can get pointless however knowing this exists seeing those cracks on the wall and the windows and things implies that there was some kind of conflict i mean look i mean look at this jesus people literally tried to like climb up there yeah so i definitely think there was some kind of conflict here no oh was there like a oh my god they threw their wishes at the glass Whoa, what happened? Yeah, the troops weren't accepting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. People were clearly sleeping here. Yeah. They must have dragged this up from the <clears> settlement. <throat> so those are where the mattresses That's... must have gone, yeah. Yeah, and all the wood. And they and they burned it. Wow. Huh. Did the tube stop working because Grace stopped working, and then... Maybe. And, and and then they and were like, what the fuck going they were like, on? what's going on? And they tried to throw their wishes at the. Oh wow! Okay. Pilgrims were building fires. Why would they do that? Hmm. Someone went through a lot of food, guessing they were here for a while. Judging by bedding and volume of food containers, five to ten people might have been here for over twenty days. Wow. Okay. Okay. There's more stuff here. Where is Grace? Well, I'm not alone there you wondering. Go. Yeah. I am here. It is the people who are lost. Oh my god. It must have been written with charcoal from the fires. Oh, it is charcoal. Hey, I was right. Okay. There's some message I want to read the messages later. Um wish canisters. Ah. These have never been used. For recording wishes maybe. They look pretty banged up. I don't think we can get anything from them, actually. No. Yeah, okay. Alright, I don't think there are any that are still intact. Huh. Okay. This explains all the canisters lying around. Must have been fun. <laughs> it would have been chaos. There yeah. was clearly a lot of anger directed toward the Keeper. Yeah, I'm with empathy here. I think this was... I think this was anger at Grace disappearing. When the people have all their decisions made for them by an AI, it's um, if that gets taken away from you, it's it 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 feels like God is dead. Or, or but but because that is an unfathomable thing to you, God, God must advertise. This must be the keeper's pulpit. Yeah. Okay. A view out over the masses. God must advertise itself. A deity must be advertised as something unfathomable but something also infallible something that does not make mistakes because it is a deity right it lives far above us right not only is that really um un that, that that's really well it depends on the god because some like, the greek some, gods were very fallible some gods are fallible for sure but like okay sure let's go with abrahamic religions then but at least for now <clears throat> a god must be seen as this thing that is that, that knows better than us, at least, uh, the, the ones that they serve. And the problem with that is that it leads people to, when the God disappears, or if the God is fallible, if the God makes mistakes, uh, then the people turn to the interpreters of the God as the culprit, rather than trying to figure out what is actually going on. And um, it's... If the people here were angry at the keepers, it makes complete sense because if Grace disappeared, no matter what the reason was, it feels the masses found their own way up. Yeah, it feels as though the people were targeting the keepers rather than Grace herself. All right, what are they saying here? Let's read it. Quite the manifesto. I don't recognize the language. Oh, okay. I am embarrassed to say I do not recognize it either. Whoa. Oh, well, they were here long enough to get bored. Oh shit, this is um this this looks like the 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 devotee language from Chance of Sonar. Let's learn it. I was thinking that too. Yeah. 
I wonder if there's some so other what's stuff. Face, Marty here. Pants. <laughs> Hang on, I'll go back. I want to like the shopping list. <laughs> yeah, bread. He left his notebook behind. Yeah. <laughs> The different types of punk. Solo punk looks super interesting. Oh yeah, it does. Wikipedia has a page on the different types. Really? That's so cool. Yeah, it's yeah. um, it's okay. I, me, devotees, warriors, uh, life, sun, um, uh, ash. Is gay. Full stop. There you go. Yeah. Profound. Done. Cool. They knew some <laughs> shit, man. The word of God. <laughs> truly, truly, we we are standing in holy ground. Also, oh God, how how beautiful is that? Whoa. I'm not good this holy ground makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> this is really. You afraid oh, you're gonna go up in flames wow. or something? I, I feel uncomfortable inside churches, you know, that's just, that's not my right. <laughs> this is, this is very beautiful. Oh God, no, don't make that joke. I need what? to, uh... It's not on. a joke, no. I generally feel uncomfortable in no. churches. I was talking out loud to myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, now you got to make the joke, guys. Yeah, that's not, that's not fair. No, mm -mm, mm -mm, you can't, I'm good. You can't just say, don't make the joke. You can't and just not be like, I'm joke. not going to make that joke. And then we just, no, that's not how it works. And now, the more time you stall, the worse the joke actually seems. When actually, originally, if you just told the joke, it wasn't that bad in the first place, probably. Honestly, this is like a whole laundry. Yeah. Over yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> We're currently talking about churches and being uncomfortable in them. Yes. Take a wild oh, guess where okay. I want to go with okay. that. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. oh, okay, yep. okay, okay. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, there's there's yeah. photo mode, so I want to um. Oh. I want to take a photo of this because this is really good. That is a nice picture. How do I actually take the photo? Yeah, I think you just take literally just take a screenshot. Ah, okay. All right, let's go uh, F12. Yeah. God, that's so pretty. Very nice. Okay. Ah! What was that? Okay, so I didn't imagine it this time. And if it is someone messing around with the Discord soundboard, I'm going to be really mad. Alright, let's climb. I don't like this- I, I don't like the idea of this Excuse game me, being a wait? horror game. Oh. oh what the? Okay. Are we good? Can we get up here? Yeah, we're okay, right? Oh. Okay. Okay. Everything is a lot more eerie now. This is so a little creepy. A wonderful critical thought moment here. Yeah. That glass is going the same direction you are, which means yes. whoever broke that glass was also going the same direction. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, the, the direction of the glass and the blanket means that someone was going to climb through here and that explains it because the people because there are also wish canisters here. So, they must have eventually broken the glass with the wish canisters and then climbed through. This must weigh a ton. At least a couple people worked together to break through here. Oh, yeah, and this must have this must have been used as well. Damn, are we gonna see another person here? I don't think so. It's been nine hundred years. I doubt there's gonna be another person. Oh, we are gathered here today to celebrate the excommunication of Taters from the Church of Grace. For heretical, Was I communicated? heretical behavior <laughs> and per perjury. <laughs> 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 I, I, 
But the reticle and that gay shit. <laughs> so the keeper must have stood here, addressed the visitors, gave his sermons. You imagine having the solar system coming to you for answers? Yeah, that's pressure. The keeper was merely a vessel for the word of grace. Okay, control. Then why not have Grace address them? There is sometimes more power in what is imagined than in what is seen. That's a very good point, Empathy, but I don't think that it's the good kind of power. I think, like... What do you, what do you mean all power is good power? I, I don't think yeah. that the... I don't That's think why I should have all the power because I am the goodest. <sighs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> oh, that's solar that's, power, that's wind power, huh. ash power. Hang on, hang on, hang on, mm -hmm. hang on. Hang on. There, there are no power. holes. There's no holes in the. Oh, it might have just gone over. It might have just gone over the top. Okay. Um. It. Yeah. It. I don't think it's the right kind of power to talk about, um, like having a representation uh, yeah, for this unfathomable like thing. Direct I current only? Maybe, um, no, alternating current. Alternating current is safer. ATGC. Yeah. Huh. Um, Isn't that also the one made by Tesla? Yeah. Yes. And Tom yeah. Edison was like, no, it's dangerous. Look, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And then it was actually better. <laughs> yeah. Screw that guy. Uh, yeah. I was having a thought, but now it's gone. Oh, well. <clears throat> Sometimes. Yeah, it happens with no... With no, no, like, provocation or reason for that at all. More camps. Yeah, a thought just happened. Another it's weird. stage in the siege... Looks Me like the numbers really fell off here. Most gave up by now. Yeah. Or died. No bodies yet. Yeah, we would have seen we would have seen bodies. I feel like Death there is a surprising Everett. lack of bodies. Death to Everett? Pretty clear who they blamed. Whoa. That this is escalated so but, quickly. That really escalated. Yeah. See, now I I told you we are blaming the keepers over Grace. And see, that's what I'm talking about when I talk about that power. If Grace was Don't addressing messenger, if Grace was addressing them, but that's the thing, they didn't believe that the keepers were the messengers because as soon as something bad happens to your deity. The messengers are blamed because the deity is seen as infallible, especially when it's an AI. That's why it's the bad kind of power. You have these representatives that claim to speak for the god, then they'd better fall on the sword when they when 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 something bad happens. So this is the issue. The keepers are seen not only as carrying Grace's messages, but also in but also immunizing Grace against liability. Because you'll see that these people who are angry at Grace for disappearing their anger is going towards the keepers for somehow hiding her. We don't even know if they knew that's what happened. This must be an attempted barricade. But who is Grace and what is this game about, actually? So, when so, Grace shut down, the pilgrims blamed the keeper. Give me a second. They demanded to see Grace, or thought they could reactivate her. The keeper turned off the heat. Pilgrims built fires, dug in. Ooh. They eventually got restless. Wish canisters started flying. Yeah. As pilgrims were breaking through the partition, the keeper and his followers built up a barricade. We'll have to make our way through the barricade to learn how it ended. Okay, so it was... It was people versus, uh... It was pilgrims versus keepers. So, Grace is a super-powered AI that was used to run the solar system, and... And then 900 years before this game, she disappeared. And we're trying to find out why, basically. That's it. We're just uncovering the, the mystery. All right, let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, pictures of the keepers. All right. These are all... Are these just all different keepers? 2766 to 2780. These dates are from the old Julian calendar, which makes them very old. Oh, 1,200 wow. years, by all accounts. Wow. Okay. Can't make this out. Interesting. 
BRB coughing again. <laughs> Keep coughing. Just stop coughing. Simple. Yeah. 2780 to 2830. I'm guessing these were the time periods that these keepers served here. Wow, 50 years. 50 years as a keeper is a long time. Nothing here either. Okay. This canister looks undamaged. Oh. And it has been recorded on. Yeah, we can get through it. Yay, let's do it. This has gone on long enough. There's nothing Keeper ever can do to meet your demands. You must return to your ships now, or we will be forced to take more drastic measures. Oh. So this was left for the angry pilgrims. What do you think more drastic measures were? I don't know. Yeah. But you might get to Metabots. see that dead body. Okay. <laughs> Second barricade. Looks like they got under this one. Yeah. I, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't look like the barricade was well made, to be honest. <laughs> twenty nine forty two to twenty nine fifty six. Okay. This would mean keepers were at the spire for at least four hundred and forty four years. That sounds about right. Wow. They yeah. They jumped ahead. So keepers were here for a long time, which means Grace was here for even longer. Because Grace, when Grace disappeared, she's only given us... She, When she disappeared, it was 900 years. But the Keepers... Yeah. Like, what? we don't know how long she was here for. Well, the first statue... Do we know where this goes? thing said it was like 1,200 years ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that Keepers go, so. leads to the next section of the Spire. Okay. Air tanks. Oxygen tanks. Everett up the ante. Cut off life support here. Oh, wow. He wanted to kill them. Oh, Shit. just drive them away. Shit. Yeah, or, 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 you know, send them back, yeah. What does this one say? It looks like it worked. It's no dead bodies. Yeah, yeah, maybe they did go back. Long live Grace. Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> See? See? They don't. They they see the keepers as being the the harbingers of Grace's destruction, because gr because Grace allowed the keepers to speak for her, and therefore, that's the first person they target. Hold on, Ooh. Addy. The room beyond the airlock is uncompressed. And cold. I don't believe it can be sealed. Something must have been compromised. Yeah. The... You'll want your helmet on. Yeah. There's gonna be um. Uh, it's ex Bucky, it's it's exposed to the outside. We can see that. The tracks ahead lead to the highest point of the spire, known as the lighthouse. The lighthouse. Is that where we'll find Grace's processors? Obviously. You need only worry about the beacon, Addy. <laughs> <laughs> Who are all these characters in those watch? Okay, so as we've uncovered more about this mystery, uh, we have run into. So remember, Grace is an AI, right? But Grace's AI processors um, are built, uh, they're divided into a couple of things. She has her logic centers, her control centers, and her empathy centers. And that is the yellow voice, the red voice, and the green voice that we see on our watch. We have connected... And mom? And mom, the purple voice, is what happens when, what, when we came in. So basically, we discovered these voices, and then we were like, hang on. These voices aren't enough. We need we need to create more AI configurations. So we combined the three ones that we found and we created more. So uh, so mom, the pinkish one, is a combination of logic and empathy. And then the kid called pal, the orange one, is a combination of em uh, empathy and control. And then the final one is the purple guy with, with like circles for glasses. <clears throat> His name is Jack. And he's a, a combination of logic and control. And they're each kind of helping us do certain things. Okay. What happened here? More rioting? Maybe. I'm back. Welcome back. Are you still alive? <laughs> this doesn't look oh. operational. Let me try it, Addy. Unfortunately. Okay. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Come on. It's ice again. The force needed to break through the ice dam would only come from directing all power to control processors. Which only I can do. Uh, Great. On one condition. Oh, God. What's that? You shall have no others before me. 
Ah. Cast aside that device on your wrist. Oh. And continue with me alone. What? Oh, hang on. No, Addy. But how will I communicate with you? Mine is the only voice that resonates freely throughout every aspect of the spire. Wow. My words live within the vessel in which you stand now. They reverberate through the very walls of the Enclave above. Through the many devices and instruments at my control. Yep, I got it. You're everywhere. What if she needs another configuration for something? She will not. Is there another way to get to the top? Of course. The funicular is merely the most survivable option. Throw the device from the funicular window to take your place at my side. <sighs> Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Commandment number one. Apparently, the most important commandment was that God created a monopoly on all other gods that you might have believed in before him. That is a major red flag and not something I am willing to entertain. So how do we do this? How do I, how do I not do this? Do I go back? Oh, hi. This door leads out into the storm? To your certain demise, yes. He's being dramatic. Your death is only marginally likely. <laughs> In theory, you could follow the funicular track up the mountain slope to the base of the lighthouse structure. It would be dangerous. So I give up my options by throwing away my calm, or take my chances in the storm. It's an important decision, to be sure. I like how empathy is not judging us. Um, obviously, mom is... is <clears throat> Mom is serving as the moral center here by saying no, and she's right. Like, I'm definitely not going to do this. But to try and think my way through this, even even if I did believe in Control's ability to get me to the top, which I don't, um, even if I did believe, once we get to the top, there is no way of knowing that I'm going to need other voices, that, that I'm just not going to need anyone else to get up to the top there. Once we get there, who knows what we're going to face there? Control says that we don't need that, but Control has been wrong before. Control literally couldn't do the things that PAL could do. We needed to create PAL to do something that Control didn't have the ability to do. So, well, yeah. Well, he was having a temper tantrum. Yeah. Or, yeah, sure. He probably could have done them, but he refused to do them. Yeah, yeah. I so say, if I examine this window, do I don't throw my watch out of it, right? Just examining is examining, right? I'm pretty sure you just examine it, but okay. you could save just in case. Because I don't know. I don't. For sure. I don't actually think I can save. There is no save button, so we're gonna hope. Let's see. So if I throw I this away, do it, maybe. you'll take me. Oh, the there time. we go. There we go. It will be done. Don't you want to take on the storm together? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, Tiger. Yeah, I like, if I played this game, I also wouldn't throw away the watch because those other voices would just also help you. And like one, like a team is better than just one voice saying you got to do this. Absolutely. Absolutely. And control, especially control has been the voice that's been like, I am God. You must listen to me. Follow me. I'm like, nah, nah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing that. It, it really is. Like, we, we're not on a time limit anymore, you know? We can really take it slow. And it's much better to rely on people. So I'm taking my chances outside. You must not do this, Addy. In taking this risk, you jeopardize all of humanity. Would you deny them my guidance and protection? This is what can happen when you make ultimatums. Mm. You and your ilk were distracting Addy from her true purpose. We are providing Addy with a variety of perspectives. Correct. All of humanity is at risk. See, you could have you could have told us that before, but it's too late now. I'm out. We're gonna make it. Oof. See, that looks very, very. Uh, that looks very, very rough. Now here's yeah here's here's the thing right it's it's a game so I'm not putting myself on the line I'm putting the character on the line but if <laughs> but but if this were real if this was real life 
I guarantee you there are many people who would do this, just chuck their watch away, because this is safe. This gives you a more guaranteed way to get there alive. And when someone's life is in the balance, we will make, we will make decisions to preserve our lives more often than not. But Addy is an archaeologist. Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't throw away the watch if this is real life. I think like it, you're, they're alone in a, in a suit walking around somewhere with no oxygen and you have voices that help you and the one voice says no i am the one that helps yeah like i say hell no nah, bro you need more <laughs> like guidance through this storm yeah yeah, 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 yeah. One, one person saying this is safe maybe the, maybe the card will fall off and i would die and i throw away to watch for nothing that's true that's very true we don't know what this card's gonna I'd do it die looks in the storm then yeah sure, i'd rather die in the storm than be crushed by a elevator yeah thing. yeah i think i think this is then a case of taking your life into your own hands by by not throwing away the watch and entering the storm we are uh we are taking our own agency here rather than giving it up to control which is definitely what i want to do here we go sorry boss i'm keeping oh, my confidence i'll see if you make it in the morning you may not live to regret <laughs> this <laughs> but countless <laughs> billions in the solar system goodbye alberg okay. sleep well Good night. the storm hi bye Oh. oh, we're alone anyway. Here we go. Alan? Alan! Where are you? It's Alan! Hey, Alan, I, I found Grace. You need to return immediately, Addy. Your oxygen must be dangerously low. I'm good, Alan. You need to listen to me. If I'd listened to you, we wouldn't have made it past Mars. Wait, did you say Grace is still active? Not exactly, but I I'm working with her oldest service to try to bring her back online. Well, one of these servers is actively blocking me. Oh, shit. Well, guess which one? You need to get back. Mm, can you, Alan? Though? Yeah, I don't think we Alan. can guess. But she thinks it's probably control. She thinks it's control. It's I think it's logic. Yeah. You're what if it's empathy? Ooh. Do you have a choice? There is also a path that descends into the canyon. It looks well worn and preserved over time. Which means it's likely sheltered and safe. Boring. <laughs> the funicular structure looks faster and more fun. Don't tease, Addy. The walk will give you time to think and perhaps a chance for us to talk. <sighs> Maybe it's mom. Yeah, what, it, what if it's empathy, though? Because yeah. while Grace did help with the Golden Age, empathy concludes that humans are still better off without her. Yeah. Yeah, I think, wow, that's so interesting. That's a very, there are a lot of things in this game that, that seem throwaway lines, but that are actually very important. The game is very clearly like, the red herring is control for sure. I think control genuinely wants to, control is, is beholden to its own programming, right? So it believes that it's the most powerful thing because it can control the whole station. It believes in these things. It, I don't think it can necessarily be at fault. It's just super pompous and kind of a dick. But I think Control genuinely believes that it is protecting, it is trying to save humanity. <clears throat> and um, obviously its methods are a little bit one track, but that's just because it's Control. That's how it thinks. It's an AI. We can't ascribe human qualities to it. However, um, we are definitely clearly made to believe when Alan says one AI is blocking us, we are made to believe that that is control. But I don't think it is. I've been saying from the start, I think logic is the most scared of a life without grace. And um, logic is the first person we meet, the first configuration that comes online. And that is the moment that Alan stops, like that stops talking. So I think that um, the moment we lose Alan is the moment that logic comes online and empathy wasn't online yet. So I think my vote still it i think it could be any one of them but my vote still goes for logic all right what are we thinking are we going down into the into the cavern or are we going across the beam i think i think it would give us a chance to talk and to understand the ai is something that i want to do first i'm not i'm not interested in 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 fast things the second time i play the game maybe i'll take the fast option but i think i, I fast or good I, <laughs> I think um, 
I think I wanted good. I, I want to be able to, uh, I, I want to be able to talk to these AI configurations and understand them. Maybe we can figure out a way to, maybe we can figure out who's, um, like possible candidates for shutting off Alan. Okay, let's go this way. I'm not doing the high well, the only the problem store. with this? Oh, yeah. Is that you've made all of the choices I made. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't get to see anything new. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a pity. It's like, but it must guess. actually make its way to the other side of the canyon. Uh, Where else would it Clearly be? they're the best choices. Clearly they are the good choices, yeah. Obviously. <laughs> Especially, but look, I mean, it's a storm. Do you see how, how fast this wind is blowing? There's no ways I'm going up there. Yeah, no, fuck that. It's certainly more sheltered here. Oh, music is so, so nice. What did you want to talk about? Why is it but so if you had an umbrella and you walked on that beam, you would literally be blown away and playing Fortnite. In yeah. <laughs> we'd, we'd go drop at Tilted Towers, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So mom has just asked us, why is it so important that we activate Grace? Okay. All right. Everyone is everyone is under suspicion here, right? No one is safe. Not even Pal. Okay, let's listen. I oh believe my that God, recovering it's grace would recover <laughs> thousands of years of knowledge lost to the Dark Age. Mm. Okay. So we're reactivating her for knowledge. Interesting. That does make sense. I love this music, by the way. Oh. The soft guitar with the winds and the storm. Oh, incredible. You've come all this way at great personal risk in search of knowledge. Why not? Without enough fuel or oxygen to go home. I'm a committed academic. Mm. What do you really want from Grace? I'm not sure. Oh. You know, we don't let AI make any important decisions anymore. Good. But most of the decisions that humans make are pretty awful. You don't think AIs are capable of making bad decisions? I just hoped Grace might be better. I don't have plans to return because... I don't have anything to return to. And I can thank human decisions for that. <sighs> Bias is a hell of a thing. The... Addie, Addie speaks from her own personal experience. And if you've had, if you have an internal narrative inside yourself that you've been given a raw deal and therefore that is your lot in life, you will think this way. And if there have been people in your life that, that have treated you poorly because of decisions that they've made, depending on your outlook, <clears throat> on those decisions, depending on your mental health or maybe even your physical health or a number of other factors, you may end up exactly like Addie where she believes that all human decisions lead to bad outcomes, or most of them as she says. And and it couldn't be further from the truth. It doesn't matter. We, we There is no possible way that we can determine whether most human decisions were good or bad. All we can reasonably conclude is that humans have the capacity for good decisions and bad decisions and a mix of the two. That's it. There is no conceivable way that you could make a judgment about all human decisions or even about most human decisions. You can only say with certainty that some are good, some are bad, and many are in between that you can't say the word most about anyone because we do not have that greater experience. We cannot look at things like that. We don't, we don't look at life on that scale. So if you are going to say things like most, there's two possibilities. First of all, most of the people in your life have made bad decisions. That's possibility number one. Possibility number two is that you are biased in thinking because you yourself are insecure. You are biased in thinking that the people in your life have made bad decisions. Because maybe you might have made some bad decisions too. So, and it's up to you to decide which one it is. But I don't think Addie in this case, I think Addie is 100% using her own, um, 
uh, confirmation bias here. 100%. <clears throat> this is Martian. What does it say? Oh. It says, let her rest. <gasps> As in, she's the moon. People oh. wanted her to go away? Or didn't want her disturbed? Let her rest? Mm. I don't think we should make a I don't think we should let AI make any decisions. Of course not. That sounds that sounds incredibly stupid. Hmm. Then the terminators will exist. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What? Where does that come from? Why is there green here? Is that a is that a lighting error? Hmm. I think so. Interesting. Ooh, there's a cave. Oh no. I don't like that. Oh. Are there chains in there or something? Or the green is the Hulk's blood. It can be <laughs> that. Yeah, they're gonna be some creatures. Okay. Why is there some rattling up there that I can hear? Ooh. Ooh, that's interesting. This looks like, uh, what a lot of hikers can do. Oh! Oh yeah, we see it. Hang on. Yeah, we see that again. Look, there's some. I think. I think it is some lighting errors. Were these to honor Grace, I wonder, or to leave one's mark for other travelers to see. Yeah. Vanity at its most basic. Don't we all desire to leave something behind? I'm surprised a formation <clears throat> like that could remain standing for so long. And you weren't familiar with the language on the stone carvings. These must have been left long after Grace shut down. People kept coming. Zealots, maybe. Or curious explorers like yourself. Hmm. This is, I mean, logic and empathy uh, are two sides of the literal argument about leaving these stones on mountains. Like, hikers do this all the time. They leave little, like, piles of stones to leave their mark. And many people say, one side of the argument says that it's, like, arrogance and vandalism and whatever. And the other side says, we just want to leave something behind and sort of have evidence of humans. And, yeah. Hey, also used as trail markers. Yes. Oh, that's true. Yeah. They, they're they they're left for, like, safety concerns as well. Been activated before. Oh. Hung out with other explorers and did cool stuff with them. But now I don't remember. That's a pretty deep thought, pal. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you were saying that something happened to your family that you think an AI could have prevented. Oh. It was a shuttle crash with a human pilot. Here we go. There was, um. An instrument malfunction during launch, and she she panicked. I'm sorry, dear. It's okay. Were you ever able to forgive this pilot? Not quite yet. <sighs> it was her. One hundred percent. This was her mistake. She she caused the death of people. I I I'm, I'm look I'm. All of my all of my bones of media literacy point towards this. <clears throat> I know we don't know that for sure. It could be a twist, but I think it was her. I think she made this mistake, and she wants to reactivate Grace for her own personal feelings of atonement. She wants to forgive herself, and she thinks that this reactivating Grace is going to be a way to escape her guilt so that an AI can make these decisions from now on. But really, what she wants, what she needs is to forgive herself. She needs to atone. And... And like I said before, I told you, when she says most humans make bad decisions, what did I say? Pure projection. Because we believe we've made bad decisions in our insecurities. We pretend, or we believe, to make ourselves feel better that it's okay, because most people make bad decisions. And that keeps us from shouldering the, the heaviness of the responsibility of dealing with our own bad decisions. But the truth is, it's not most. It's just some. Because you haven't lived the rest of your life yet. You've still got so many decisions to go. You get to choose what the decisions are. We are not at mercy. We're not at the mercy of our choices. That's why they're called choices. And if you make bad ones, sure, consequences happen, people get hurt. But everyone does that. That's part of being human. You have to learn to live with those. And you have to learn to make better ones moving forward. And sometimes that's more difficult, depending on the, depending on the decision you've made. 
But Addie here saying that most people make bad decisions is pure projection on her part. She has made a bad decision, and that guilt has eaten her up to the extent that that she projects and assumes that other people also make mostly bad decisions in an effort to make her feel better about her own bad decisions. <clears throat> She was very interested in the message about the person who was grieving, yeah. And if you recall, when the wish said, I want her back, she said, surely Grace couldn't help with that. Could she? Yeah. 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 It all kind of ties together. Absolutely. Breach. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Like, but, but what if the character in this game was a man and those things in your watch would say, why do you want to react uh, or like reactivate Grace? Like if I was the main character, I would just say she's my girlfriend. <laughs> that sounds like there's some stuff to unpack there then. <clears throat> I would just say she's my AI girlfriend, downloaded her on Play Store. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes. I need to reactivate her. <clears throat> uh Okay. I was gonna say women can have girlfriends too, but that does sound like a pretty man thing to do. <clears throat> True though. It's it's <laughs> like Oh more more light. I'm starting to think that these aren't glitches. I think these are purposeful, but I can't tell what for. Wow, we have a That's long way to go. <laughs> From the it's, it's not he Hulk blood. How much uh, he was in this world. It's another too. 50 meters to the base of the lighthouse. This wasn't so bad then. You still have to find a way into the lighthouse. Yeah. So there's still time to regret not taking the free ride to the top. I didn't want to limit my options. Did you know the Hulk has a son? Yes, I did. Yes. And he, like his name is like it's weird. It's, it's like Scar or something. Yeah, S K S K A R. Yeah. Like, how did the Hulk like? We didn't like see the that a Hulk has a girlfriend and he, like, how is that kid even the Hulk? I'm not like, sure. I I didn't read the comments. Maybe, maybe because the gamma the stuff is also in the Hulk's blood and that. Well, I mean, it did it did fuse with his blood cells. And every every transition that we've seen when the Hulk move when Bruce Banner turns into the Hulk is related to his blood, so that makes sense. All right. But who did he like? Who did he like? Fell in love with? Then they, they never showed that. Really? I'm sure. Have you not like? No. I haven't read the comics, but maybe they maybe they do show in it. Hmm. Oh, but this? just in in the MCU in the movies. Ah. No, we haven't seen like in the show. We haven't. Shield? Have we seen Scar in, in the in yeah. the MCU? Like two seconds or something. Like, oh damn! Hey, oh, okay. This is my son. I. Oh wow. What? Oh, okay. That's okay. Maybe it'll and, be explained later. <clears throat> I hope so. Like I hope actually, like I my favorite character right now, uh, from the new um, movies and shows is like Kate Bishop. Oh, like, that's good badass. choice. Mm. He's badass. I like I but like Kate I think, Bishop. But I think they're also gonna do something with Kate Bishop mm. in the future because it's not done. And like you, you I, you've seen the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I haven't. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I haven't seen Echo though, which is her show. I really want to though. Apparently, like it's really good. Like the thing is, if you've seen um. Falcon and Winter Soldier, you have the US agent in the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. And in the end, you have the US agent, and if you look closely in the, closely in the background, you see Yelena Belova walk in. Oh, for real? Like, if you see... But I think, I think, it's just a guess, a wild guess, that they're gonna, like, Hawkeye on the Kate Bishop, or Kate Bishop and another mm. hero are gonna fight against US agent and... Uh, Yelena, mm. because Yelena is still willing to kill for money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because she's not done. Mm. Like, all right. <clears throat> I hope so. Yeah, I'll when I when I finish Echo, I'll let you know how I think. You you've seen it, right? Yeah, but I I didn't like Echo because oh, really? it's about 
the girl that's like isn't it out here and wait isn't it isn't it kate bishop no echo like hawkeye the show is about um i thought echo kate was bishop. Kate. i thought echo was kate bishop no echo is like maya that uh ah, kid who cannot hear okay 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 all right well it's fine i'll i'll watch it anyway but i i do like kate bishop as well anyway let's uh yeah, let's cool. lock in because there's dialogue she a baddie she a baddie <laughs> emergency escape ladder you could work out the override to bring it down or see if there's another way up okay let's move up to the lighthouse uh i mean i don't know look i don't know about you i think i can climb this <clears throat> yeah me too but then i'll probably fall off and try it again yeah okay <clears throat> Also, yeah, maybe the green rocks are because it's a moon of Jupiter, not Earth. Yeah, you're right. Could be. Oh. There's the top of the ladder. I really. Not gonna make that jump. Yeah. So you don't want to mess with the computer thingy? <laughs> I was just hoping there was another way. You could always throw stuff at it. Maybe shake it loose. Might be worth a try. Oh. You know, that's not a bad idea considering. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's throw some ice. <clears throat> um, I I was gonna say something and I forgot. All right, pal, oh, well. we'll give it a shot. See what happens. You're really going to resort to rock throwing, ice throwing, actually. I see the latch is holding the ladder. I'm gonna try to knock it loose. Okay. All right, so gotta throw it at the ice, maybe. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Hang on. Nice. Do we... Oh. <laughs> Come on. Break the ice. Go. There's a specific spot. Go. <laughs> oh, I think I saw one earlier. It was like... Uh, it was like... Up. Ah, there we go. One of those. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> oh. Oh, look, 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 look. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. Gonna knock something loose. Oh. Nah. Oh. <laughs> It'll give you like a little thing. Yeah, like that? There. Yeah. But then that, that just, say, it just sails off into nowhere. Okay, let's Maybe try. The green is you. Let's try Maybe up here. you have a green light. Yeah, oh, you know what? You're right. We do have green lights, yeah. Bro, wait, huh? Come on. Gimme. Close. Oh. Oh. Oh, close. Okay. I think I'm trying to get, like, up there. Oh. See, I'm hitting the red thing, but like, is it? Maybe yeah. you need to go out a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'm. Maybe it's. Like, look really close. Yeah. I'm, I'm like literally holding my screen <laughs> close to my face. There was like a latch that you bonked down, and yeah, there was yeah. one on the other side of that bar. Oh, like like over here. Like, like over horizontal? There? No, the other one. Oh, oh, there's like one over there, maybe. See that like flappy thing? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's line. try this one here. Oh. No, not there. That's vertical. Oh, that's wait. No, what do you? Oh, over over here? Sideways. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> God. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't play this part. Dean did. Dean just did all the Imagine somebody just walking down there getting an ice pile on his head. <laughs> Someone's You're just... constantly throwing ice at his face. There's there's a hiker down there who's just he's just trying to enjoy his time. Alright. Yeah. Just a few hikers getting ice. Oh, nice. Nice shot. It didn't release all the way. Looks like there's another set of latches to take out further down. We'll need a better angle. Yeah, let's go find a better angle. Good thing there's another conveniently placed pile of ice here. Yeah. 
Okay, now we know what we're going for. So, I think we can just... Oh, no, a little bit higher. Yeah! And then last one, a little bit higher. Right, the sniper in me. Adjusting for wind. <laughs> Aiming for height. Perfect. Aiming for height. Aiming for <laughs> height. That is exactly what snipers say. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh yeah. my god. Hang on. The achievement I just got is I used to bullseye womp rats in my T16 back yeah. home. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Wait, so why- wait, why do only 9.8% of players have that achievement? Is this a completely optional thing to do? Because, well, A, you can go the other way. Wait, there's another way? As in like, so oh! You can throw your thing out the thing, or you oh, can yeah, yeah, yeah. do the way Pal wanted. Ah. And then you get the newer game. Okay, okay. rock throwing to intellectual challenge. <laughs> I just thought there might be a better way up. Do we have to analyze all of my decisions? Meaningful challenge comes in all forms. Wait. Mental That's the longest letter I've seen in my life. This letter is long. <laughs> I wouldn't you blame it. <laughs> I suppose I'm, never I'm scared of heights. Satisfied. Oh, really? Makes me exceedingly useful. Yeah. All right. Um. I will never be a Jedi. <laughs> so, hang on. I'm scared of heights. Taters, was there a um, was there like a? I think logic got a Lo logic implies that that like there was another way to do this ladder. Like, was there? I didn't see one. I. This is the way I did it. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I guess we're just following <laughs> your playthrough then. Sorry that you're not getting any Apparently. new things. <laughs> just conversation. <laughs> yeah, I think um. All right, clearly validation for your decisions. But I think, I, I don't know if there was a, another way, like I saw a dead end in this cliff, so I think that might have been the only way. Oh well. The, the cliffs was a dead end. I wonder if there was an option if you turned around you would yeah. see something else. Yeah, maybe. Like, oh well. Like, if you remember, like, you couldn't go up the... And can be yeah. And that's convenient. You can go once. up into the crane until you were ready. Mm -hmm. Well, here we so are now. I wonder if there's something like that. Let's do it. Get it. There. Who needs control? Hey. You took a foolish risk, Addy. <laughs> but you have arrived at the lighthouse nonetheless. Yep. Yes. Well done. Thanks, Mom. And you may still be redeemed with the activation of the beacon. <laughs> always with the beacon. Yes. Always with the beacon. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, here's the thing, right? Oh, okay. The thing is, with with control, he wants to do the same thing I do. I'm trying to reactivate Grace too. So I need my helmet. It's never a bad idea, unless you want to preserve your suit oxygen in case of emergency. Correct. Good idea. The rooms ahead are safely pressurized, Addy. You're good to go. Thank you, empathy. Okay. Oh, okay. New, new music. Star Wars vibes. Oh, big Star Wars vibes, yeah. New music giving me... Ooh. There's some synth voices in the background, which makes me feel like I'm a little bit in a in more Do of a spiritual place. The room directly ahead was the Keeper's living quarters. There we go, there's Grace the spirituality. Processors are somewhere above. Okay. We're in the place of the Keepers, which means that... Which means that this place was deeply, deeply spiritual. And I think... I think I want to take a picture of this. This was... This is very beautiful. If we can, like... I want to get the window in frame, though. Yeah, let's go for that. That looks good. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see how the keepers lived. That's a little room. As we yeah, as we as we imagine, uh keepers live very much like other priests, very um I don't want to say what's the what's the word? Spartan, very very Spartan living. Ooh, I'm look. claustrophobic. 
And they have... Oh, damn, you're claustrophobic and you're scared of heights? And I have autism, ADHD. I have the full package. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. You're, you're, you're in good hands here. Everyone here has some sort of... Uh, something. Yeah, some sort of something. Um, I... I, yeah, I was. Oh, they, I think they. I think this is like. I think that's the top. That's Grace. It's very purposeful that all these rooms have just a, a constant view up to Grace. Definitely symbolic of what their duty is. Here. I thought it was a Death Star, but. <laughs> yes, it's a battle station. All right. Pretty basic Grace accommodations. Is actually just Darth Vader. <laughs> okay. No, but Grace, is it like a, a, a girly voice? Or we don't know. Sounds. Is Gray sounding like a man? We don't know. I presume it's I presume it's a because female presenting voice, but we've only heard her say things once. But you know, Grace is usually a, a woman's name anyway. I was distorted. Yeah. But if she's a woman, then she's not Darth Vader, then she's Darth Mommy. But, well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> All right. These must be the cells where the keeper's acolyte stayed. And where new ones will return. Oh, ah, Control wants to like restart the whole thing. Yeah. Because that worked so well the last time. Ooh, can we... This looks like it was left for someone to find. Ooh. All right, well, let's be the person who finds it, I guess. I can hardly believe it has come to this. But my work here with Grace will end with Grace herself. I can only pray that people will come to forgive us one day. We loved her, and we lost her. Ooh. She will never be forgotten. Doesn't sound like the inner circle wanted Grace shut down. Damn. Okay. Very interesting. Oh, was that? Did that sound like Control's voice as well? I. Hmm. Or similar to it? Could be. That's very interesting. I wonder. I wonder. We've heard empathy. So it, it stands to reason. I don't think it was actually empathy. Maybe maybe they used the same voice actor, but maybe it was actually the same thing. Not sure. Like the person in the room you were just in, oh. he didn't sleep. He was a vampire. <laughs> he didn't have a bed. <laughs> that man's a zombie. <laughs> yeah, we, we take... They, they accepted all sorts as keepers. My light. Oh, oh, right. I forgot we have a flashlight. Whoops. There you go. Ooh, another message. Another canister. Come on. Oh, that was nice. The last shuttle leaves in but a few hours. We did what we could to save her. I know she is lost to us for good. Even Everett probably knows that now. But I couldn't compel him to leave. None of us could. Okay. I fear he will follow Grace into the dark. Yet, such is the way of a keeper. His fate will forever be tied to Grace. Effort was trying to. But did keepers yeah. really live for long? Um, I don't know. No, as far as I know, they were just regular humans. Yeah. But oh, like I, I thought. They were like some kind of millennials. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, millennials like like me, <laughs> like like Gen Z type millennials, or what's the? No, like millennials, like they live. Oh, like, like they long, live for a thousand like, years. Oh, no, no, no. Years. <laughs> no, no. These are just regular people. Like I, I, if I was immortal, I wouldn't want that because you saw your like mm -hmm. whole friend groups, families die over and over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So. I think, um, okay, so, so we've learned that Everett was the last one to leave, which ex probably explains why, or he refused to leave. Maybe he never left, which explains why Grace would have called out to him when we woke her this up. This door certainly looks important. How do we get in? Yeah, this is an important That's curious. Door. I have no access to this door, nor do I see any way of opening it. Interesting. Okay, I have, uh, maybe it has something to do with these things. Okay, so a bunch of people following Grace. Feels solid. There aren't any hidden switches, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> you sure? 
I don't know, they could be. Hmm. Triangle symbol, human figures, figure symbol. Okay, let's go with the humans. This would be the pilgrims coming to grace. Okay. The triangle here must be the spire, which would represent grace. Yeah. This is the same symbol that's on the keeper's door. So I assume it represents the keeper. Okay. So, oh, and a ring? This ring here seems to connect the keeper to grace. Okay. Curious that the keeper is situated above, above grace. Above grace, I agree. Would you agree, Control? I agree. Coincidence. The human in the loop, I guess? I act, I 100% agree. I think that, okay, from the beginning of the game, we've seen that Control has talked about human input as tradition. I think that, I think that initially the keepers were the ones who, who sort of, because because we believe that an AI, you know, shouldn't absolutely uh, control everything, maybe the keepers were the ones to facilitate the AI, but then the people started giving the AI more more credit than the keepers and started to see the AI as the god uh, and not the keepers as the governmental leaders. Very interesting. And, um... Yeah, it's usually... So, usually in, in most sort of human iconographies something si situated above something else means it's more important okay let's try this one. Ooh, this one's a little bit this one's a little bit different huh nothing here either well you're nothing if not predictable <laughs> just making sure <laughs> logic is incredibly sassy all right looks like someone's being selected a for a group a human sacrifice <laughs> I'm guessing it's the keeper. The depiction mm, seems to imply sacrifice. they were chosen from the masses on pilgrimage here. Hmm. Okay. Faithful, vigilant, willing. That sounds so familiar. Faithful, vigilant, the ancient oh. tenets of the human in the loop. Grace's architects must have been more fearful of losing control over AIs mm. than we are today because they gave them so much responsibility. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Grace was the greatest AI undertaking in human history. I agree. Very interesting. Something that's really interesting to me is that she knows so much about Grace, but she didn't know that they, like, worshipped her. Yeah, I... It seems... Or that people would do pilgrimages here. Okay. Remember that over, over history, we don't get the full picture. It's really only that's why people like archaeologists that's why people like archaeologists exist. They go they go to find the full picture. They go in order to put the pieces together because we only have a few from our documents. So it it I think it shows what sorts of history actually made it through to Addie's time. So clearly the the sort of human element, the worship, the god stuff like that didn't make it through. But the fact that Grace was an AI with huge technological advancements clearly did make it through. So I wonder, it and 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 what historical puzzle pieces make it through to for to us to analyze depends on who was alive to tell them, who was around to tell them. For sure. <clears throat> so I wonder who That's was true. around to tell Grace's story. Hmm. So if this is the symbol of the keeper, I figure only the keeper was allowed to enter here. Maybe the keeper had a key for the door. Yeah. As we've been saying, there is no mechanism for a key or any other interface. Yeah, but maybe the keeper was just the pushed key. the door. Maybe the man, door maybe. would open for him. Are you not already the keeper? You are the only human in the loop here. That's true. Ah, but does Addie qualify based on the three tenets? I would say Addie has proven to be virtuous and faithful. But I'm not willing. Are you willing to become the new keeper? Oh. If it means I'm able to activate Grace. How would I prove I'm willing? Maybe you can just tell the door you're the new keeper. <laughs> That's idiotic. <laughs> it's gonna work. It's going to work. It is the option of like, I wanna like, uh, it's it's the whole like, what do you, um, uh, what do you do? You, you see a door and it's like, everyone tries super hard to find different, like s different sort of, uh, mechanisms or, or ways to unlock the door and then one person goes up and just knocks and the door opens. You should always knock. It's, always it's knock. Giving, it's giving um, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> Take a pic of that sick reflection. Oh, yeah, dude. Hang on. I think this uh, this should be a this should Speak be a friend and enter. This should be a hang on. Wait, how do I? Just like like this, maybe. This is very good reflection work. Or did you want the lens flare? Yeah, just the whole, both. Like that. Yeah. You got the reflection and the lens flare. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, when you quick. touch it, it's obviously like a better lens flare, but I don't think you can actually. Yeah, we can't touch it again, without. unfortunately. Yeah. Let's see if we can do that. There we go. Nice. Okay. Right. I'm the new keeper. Open up. I'm the keeper. Ha! Say it like you mean it. <laughs> okay, Eddie. Here we go. I'm the keeper. <gasps> Congratulations on your new job, Eddie. Hey! Yeah, Wow. Nothing to say, Logic? Nothing to say? Huh. Wow. <laughs> My god. Wow. This is really it. <gasps> These are the messages. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that is very interesting. Okay. Human with a literal uh, space helmet for oxygen. I think that's Grace. But there's no suit on the helmet. Because she's an AI. She doesn't need one. Oh, do you mean no, no suit on the guy? Yeah. I mean, yeah, but the maybe. Manages glass it's ball on I, I mean, it's just. I, I think it's just a representation. Like, it's not a physical thing. It's. I think it's just meant to represent that he's a human. And. Um, and this would be, I mean, maybe Saturn, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> like they have a lot of plans in the room. I don't trust those plans. I see <laughs> normal plans. I think they were growing something else there. I think, I, th I think these are normal. No, the keepers were really all just stoners for sure. Yeah. This must be okay. where all the wishes end up. The wishes. Yeah, so remember we found those canisters of people that wish for things, and then this is where uh, this is where they end up. Now, now we get to hear what people actually like. How um, we get to hear how people how Grace responded to people's wishes. Maybe Grace wasn't the one who responded. Maybe the keepers did it. But who knows? Let's examine the tube. I would too. I would just the like room wish something. That's mm -hmm. like every kid. I explained it like uh, like a while ago that my parents left me when I was very young, yeah. very young age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that I kind of lost, um, I lost a piece of my heart that never returns. Mm. So I would just ask, like, I, I would wish like my joy and my happiness back. Mm. That's what I would wish. And the keeper, and the keeper just says, "Go find it." <laughs> I mean. Then. To be honest, that sounds like pretty good advice. But it's yeah, easier. It's, somebody it's says go find it. Easier it's, said than done. The, like how do you how do you go about doing that? How do you go about filling that gap? Yeah, like when I uh, the thing that helps with me filling the gap is just creating stuff for people. Like I don't now I'm creating sabers, but I also mm. create like these toy guns that if you like click the trigger the little like uh what's it called plastic shell casing yeah, yeah, yeah. flies out and the gun like cycles oh, there's yeah, a whole yeah, spring yeah. mechanism to do that too very cool very cool like like i like to make people happy mm -hmm. and like i don't think about myself that's like the, the thing that i need to learn i don't think about myself i only like like to care about other people what do you do for yourself i don't know why me like i'm just i don't know um doing things for other people is is great in fact that's something that we we tell i mean the whole i i think one of the greatest goals of being a human is the ability to do things for other people the ability to help other people but what happens when you're alone what happens when there aren't any other people around? Like, then I'm just... 
you know, in my room or playing video games, watching my favorite TV shows, or when I'm alone, I'm, I take long walks, like mm. very okay. long walks. <clears throat> I like that. It's something I like to like clear my head, mm. put, in, put in my favorite music on just a long forest walk. That's, yeah. That, that sounds like something for also you. Also what helps. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, imagine seeing me with a lightsaber in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> swinging around trees doing doing something off. doing something for for ourselves is very important because there are many people who who give their whole lives in service of other people and it's really important to to make sure that you yourself are happy too that if you're If your happiness is defined through other people, then when those people show disappointment or bad feelings towards you, or if someone just decides to be a dick one day, then that will go to the core of who you are. If your if if your life is about helping people, like only uh, if your life is, is in, in in instead dependent on other people. So what I'm all I'm saying is make sure there's a balance, you know. Like the thing is, like I had a therapist and that was like the only therapist I accepted because it was like a guy that I also knew mm. from my past. Yeah. And he said to me, he said, hey, kid, like what if you had your family back? They mm. they wanted you back. And, and, and I said, maybe it's better that they left and I work on myself because... If they come back now, they see that I'm stronger, I'm standing tall, I'm just proud of who I am. Hmm. Like, if my parents are not proud of me, like, that's their choice. Like, that's not gonna, like, feel, make me sad because hmm. also, I told the therapist, they left me. Okay, it hurts as a child, but when I got older, I, like, knew, like, it's their choice, not my choice, so I'm not gonna feel sad about their choice mm. like they are the ones that need like ah oh, we made a mistake ah oh, not me absolutely i'm the one living living my happy life right here they're not absolutely i'm really i'm really and happy for you want... i'm really glad that you're able to to have that that outlook it's really really important like, to I'll... realize that you're not at fault for for whatever happened there thing is also what also really happens, uh, what also really like helps me, I meant like really helps. And what really is cool that like communities, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like like yours, mm. I have one in the Netherlands, but okay. that's because I knew that I know that girl just in real life. But just to make contact with people you don't know through mm. streams, through Discord, like mm -hmm. through events, and that's also something I like. Yeah, because then you can meet new people, people that have different opinions of living life and doing things, music, everything. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, that's so cool. I think that's super cool. I think it's super cool too. That's why, that's why I started this thing. And it's really nice it's to meet, uh, cool. it's really nice to meet someone like you and you clearly, uh, you've clearly done the work in processing whatever has happened to you. And I would say you've come out in a very positive way. It's really cool to not sort of personalize something bad that has happened to you that is so close to you because that is something very easy that people that people do a very natural reaction is to say that i must have done something wrong in order for that to happen but it's really cool that you've not done that so good job you know what's also cool there are hmm. two things i have a dog it's a white german shepherd a white fully white i don't know why oh, she's wow. white but very cute yeah okay. her name like it says she and like she's not like very big now. She's like growing puppy, but I named her Thorn. Okay. Because she doesn't bite people, but mm -hmm. she scratches like a cat. <laughs> but she's a dog. Very cool. <laughs> I like, like that. And name. the second thing that and the second thing is very cool is mm -hmm. I'm actually fully American and I live in the Netherlands and yeah. I can speak Dutch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You meant you mentioned that. That's awesome. Very cool, dude. Dutch and English, so nice. Yeah, learning learning I another language is 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 very important, especially for the place you live in. Obviously, like 
I think if you if you move to another country that doesn't speak English, you've got to you've got to pick up the language there. Yeah. You know? Like, I think in English show I rather speak English. Okay. Well. If that's correct, like I, I think in the English show, why should I speak Dutch the whole day? Like it's not like. <laughs> it is really just. It's up, like weird. It's really up to you. You don't have to think a certain way about it. All right. One thing: <clears> don't <throat> go to France and speak English because they just want that you speak French. But it's better to speak in a. Yeah, I, I think when I I went to France on holiday once, and it was like. Um, uh, I, I had to I had to speak in Afrikaans first, which is a, a South African language, before uh, before speaking English. Or you have to at least try French, and then they'll be like, "I speak English," and then you go, "Okay, fine, I'm sorry." Yeah. <sighs> I just said I can now speak French. I have a, my best friend from the Netherlands. He speaks France, Dutch, many languages. He said, "Come with me." Like I said to the guy who wanted to let me in the country, I cannot speak France. Like a few sentences, I can say who i am yeah. my age where i come from and then they say that's enough those few sentences are enough to enter france okay so cool. i said okay well, that's <laughs> I easy even, I, it's they, just, I don't think there are language requirements to enter france though it's just people will look at you funny sometimes if you look there are a few requirements if you want to live in the netherlands oh, if, if you want to but live there not, yeah, yeah 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 that's not that's not um a language but it's knowing what this country does as mm -hmm. and their past history like right. if you have three questions wrong from the from the I think thirty questions, you're not allowed to live here. Only be on vacation. Oh wow! But if you if you come here for a longer vacation, you just send the list to me, and I will just say to you that's that's the answer. That's the answer. That's the answer. That's the answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will just help you. Let's uh, let's let's lock back in here. But really cool talking to you. A settlement. <clears throat> okay. Tubes. And oh. Oh, there's a oh, there's a lever here. Okay. Okay. What's this? A playback device for the wish canisters. It appears wishes from each room could be sorted Ooh. and consolidated onto master canisters. Okay. So what do I do first? Hmm. Okay, let's go here. Just static. Hmm. The recording is too deteriorated for standard playback. You'll need to rebuild the recording with your altered comm device. Oh, okay. So we just just hack the canisters then. Cool. Well, it's um, been over thirty years since I've made a wish of my own. Whoa. It's the same one as always. I wish it'd come back to us. I'd also like to wish for your forgiveness, Grace. I know the place above is your domain, and we ought not enter. But I've decided going up there is the only way to get you back, and I have to give it a shot. I won't be sending this wish up with all the others. I'm going to leave it here for anyone else who might come along. Is this Everett? And if they do manage to bring you back, <gasps> they can tell you Everett says hello, and that he truly believed you were a beautiful thing. Oh, wow. So, Everett had a way into the processor room. That would have been strictly forbidden. The room is directly above, but I don't detect an obvious way in. Control is such Maybe a Karen. he wished himself up there? <laughs> if that works, I will gladly shut myself down. <laughs> Do it, Addy. Make a wish. As last resort, pal. It did oh. sound like these wish canisters could be sent up to Gray somehow. And there are still more buttons and things to push on the console. There are more buttons, and I want to push <laughs> more. Hang on. So, wow, so that's Everett. Okay, so we've heard Everett's voice now. It when he when he became a when he was a pilgrim before he became a keeper, he must have um that must have been thirty years ago. And yeah, so Grace, he was like a keeper for thirty years. And he was a keeper for thirty years, and he sent one wish for us to tell Grace that Everett says hello. Oh, wow. What a view, by the way. Oh, my God. Look at that. Right. That's incredible. That 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 red spot is that like constant storm on Jupiter is about the size of Earth. Fun fact. <clears throat> yep. Okay. That's a big planet. Yeah, dude. Jupiter is huge. That's a big old ball. 
All right, here we go. Oh. Ah. Oh, we put wish canisters in here, and then, and then we, we just pull them up. Oh. Oh, are we gonna ride it up? Yeah, let's do it. One of the blocks is missing. Looks like it was ripped out. We can get in there. I don't suppose Everett crawled in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cavity would be big enough to contain an average human. There's really no telling average. what would happen if you rolled that up. Okay. But it has to be the way he got up there. Makes sense. The space above is the domain of grace. It is not for you to enter. All right. What else is there for me to do here? You can carry out your duty as keeper of the spy. The lights flicker when he talks. On the console, there yes. is a button that will <gasps> activate a oh. beacon to call the masses back to this place. Oh shit! I have armed the mechanism. You need only <clears throat> push the button. But human yeah, hands but will usher in a controlled. new golden age. Okay, so here's the thing, right? This is the this is the beacon button. But like, why Grace is not awake yet? So. Then control would be the new grace. That sounds like a bad yep. thing. Why would I'm I'm genuinely confused as to why anyone would make this decision? Like why you would choose to give control all the power? Like do you think because we've come all this way to activate grace and then control is offering a choice where we just go against everything the character has been doing thus far? Well, I guess it depends on if you think that you've been following control this whole time. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. Because you can get here by following control's yeah. orders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think um, uh, Grace, I mean, especially if you throw away your watch, I don't even know if these other voices would be here, which is quite interesting. That's then, true. And then control would be your only voice. I, yeah, I don't know. I think, um, like... Let's get into the headspace of Addie here, who wants to assuade guilt, right, for her mistake, which I presume is now hers. Obviously, we're going off on a presumption. It, I could be wrong. But she's trying to assuage some kind of guilt, it feels like. And to press this button to start the new golden age would be a way for her to relinquish her own control and, re and release control to, con well, to control. And then control would be the new grace... And through another AI, she could, you know, assuage her guilt. But, yeah, I don't... If we've come this far not listening to Control, then, you know, we've, we've got to see it through. You know, we've got to get into here and go up to Grace. But I'm thinking, like, this could be a, a sort of a slightly quicker way for Addie to, to try and, I don't know, get what she wants from this. I don't know. Also, yes, you are right. I should just plan the ball. It yeah, works. What we're getting in the box? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think so too. Just so you know, there is more stuff to look at. Oh, great. Okay, well, I'm gonna go do that then. Well, there's yeah, there's like a whole upstairs area that I'd like to go do. Into the climb. forever box. Yeah. Into the forever. Yeah, if box. you climb in the box, you'll go look at it. Okay. So. Um, this is pipe organ you... vibes, by the way. So like to explore. <laughs> yes, we're going to be exploring real, everything right? here. Where are you going, Addy? No, just looking around. Yeah, go away. Let me... Ooh, a ther... Ooh, a theremin! I love theremins! Is this a theremin? It is a 35th century reproduction of a 29th century Kellogg theremin. Ooh, Kellogg's. I used to play one as a kid. We're boycotting that. I hated those lessons. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can use it? <gasps> Let's do it. Yes! <laughs> it still works. Let's see what I can remember. <laughs> you are seriously going to indulge in a theremin session. <laughs> it was good enough for Everett. It's good enough for me. Just settling into the new job. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hang on, let's see if I can do Star Wars. Ready? Accidentally summoned How long a ghost. is this going to take? <laughs> she plays quite beautifully, you know. I do.
<laughs> can you You're like rubbing air? Can you tell what I'm doing? <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, incredible. Uh, it, for those of you who don't know how a theremin works, uh, it creates um, it creates vibrations in the air above the instrument, and then your hand disturbs the air and creates the. It, it works with electricity. It basically disturbs the electronic signals above the instrument, that then create notes inside the theremin. Very interesting. So basically, you're rubbing air. I am rubbing air. Yes, I, I'm. I'm creating wiggly air. Yeah, it's kind of wild. It's pretty cool how it works. Rubbing the wiggly air. I am rubbing the wiggly air. He didn't keep much in the way of personal items. As keeper, he would have want of nothing. Can't say I'd feel the same after a few years. We say he as if he was the only keeper, but we've seen other keepers like have beds at the same time. There, there wasn't only one keeper at a time, wasn't there? Um, I think that the vibe they gave you is that there was multiple keepers, and he was like, he was like the big the one, head yeah, 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 like the yeah. big, the big keeper. Oh my god, this was his bed. Damn, that's a cool bed. Imagine waking know, right? up and seeing Jupiter, just like, oh, so cool. Decent sized bed. You think keepers ever had partners? Oh. Are you considering your prospects? <laughs> I'd suggest they are not good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, if we press the button, I don't know. We are we gonna we gonna press the button? My that keeper's could... keeper. <laughs> my my keeper's keeper. Is this anything special? Hmm. It is a light, and there is nothing behind it. Are you looking for secret passageways? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> logic seems. It's getting increasingly. Annoying. Yeah, logic seems in increasingly done with with everything that I do. Is this a lavatory? It is indeed. She's just like, get a move on. <laughs> Climb in the box, dude. Just get in the box. Okay. I think I mean, yeah, I think we're I think we're done. I don't think there's anything else to explore here. Maybe like Yeah, yeah, no, we're good. Uh yeah, sorry, control. We we've come this far defying you, and um I'm nothing if not defiant, so we're gonna go in we're gonna crawl into this box and follow follow Everett. Here we go. MJ Brat confirmed. <laughs> well, I fit. Now if what? I fit you're going to mail yourself I sits. Maybe. Oh, Meow. oh no, we have to do There's that. no way to raise this container from <gasps> inside. Wait, then how did he then how did he do it? He made a run for it. Yeah, did he? Does he pull the lever and then run inside? Yeah. Pull the lever, girl. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Come here. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Climb in, climb in. This is not allowed, Addy. I need to know. Keep your hands inside at all times, Addy. Thank you, mom. Hey, oh. cool elevator. <gasps> Oh, that's a lot of balls. That is a lot of wish balls. Damn. <laughs> Grace got some balls. <laughs> Blue ones. Oh, well, it's, well, it's, it's been, it's been <laughs> 900 years, yeah. Um. Damn. This is amazing. There must be millions of wishes stored here. Yeah. What can you tell me about this place? Precisely one million wishes are contained. Yeah, exactly oh, a million. And they light up when I speak with my voice. <laughs> Can you get me closer to the central column? Uh, I do not have the ability to move the structure. Oh, shit. Sorry about this, Mom. I don't think I have many options here. We're going to jump. Oh, boy. I feel like these are meant to be moving. That does appear to be the design. <laughs> All of these wish canisters are connected to us somehow. I think they are us. Oh the wishes goodness. are grouped together to provide the subroutines that make up empathy, logic, and control yeah, systems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would make sense, wouldn't it? Empathy's all green. Made from the hopes and dreams of humanity. Do you see how when they speak, some of the colors change depending on what their combinations mm -hmm. are? 
So cool. Okay, we gotta get there. And, and for the first time, okay, I wanna, it's a time, time to talk about sound design. When, when Control speaks, he makes the lights flicker because he's the only one who can actually control the, the whole station. So he doesn't speak through our radio, but everyone else does. So we get this crackly radio sound when we listen, when we talk to all the other AIs. But when we talk to Control, he talks through everything so we can hear his voice more clearly than anyone else's. But with the others, now that we're here in the core, they're speaking and we don't hold up our radios anymore because they're right here. Okay, let's do it. Whee! Yeah, we can do this. Whew. This should be fine. No problems yeah, at all. Yeah, what could go wrong? Nothing's gonna happen. Everything's gonna be totally, totally fine. Yeah, that's too far. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to see what happens if you biff it. <laughs> Wait, but like... Hang on, where, oh, where, does, where does Biff come from again? Oh, I don't know. Was it from Jedi Survivor that we... Oh, no, oh, no, that was that was Turgle did. Okay, mm -hmm. I get it. <laughs> okay, here we are. Completely Turgle did. Whee! Totally oh, Turgle in time. Once again, the uh, one, two, <clears> three, <throat> four. Oh, I thought these were moons of Jupiter, but they're too many. Okay, let's go. Nothing will go wrong. Yay! I do not detect any sign of effort here. No yeah. dead body? There are no human remains within the confines of this room. But he did oh, live man. here. No, because you Sorry, did. Pal. And if there's no body here, where the heck would he have gone? Where? Yeah, where did he go? Everett was living here. Wait. Yeah. The oxygen tanks at his bedside would suggest so. Oh. Restoring grace must have meant a great deal to him. Yeah. Yeah, what? Wait, wait, what? How many balls are there? Like, um, like the, the, the spiky ones? Because you said they might be moons of Jupiter. Yeah, but I thought there were <laughs> only four moons of Jupiter. There might be more. One, two, oh, three. Oh, yeah, Jupiter is 95. Sorry, what? Jupiter has 95 moons. 95 moons? That are officially recognized. Oh, yeah. shit. Okay, I thought it was just four. There might be 95 like like blue balls like the yeah they might be the, <laughs> this might all be just a, a reference yeah who knows so what's all this it appears everett has built something into grace's central processor do you know what it does you would have to turn it on before we begin to understand how it works correct you'll have to prime the machine first this must be the primer it is okay we can prime but let's is this a primer yes but it appears that parts of this machine must be activated in a particular order. Yeah. You'll need to go to the primer that is currently online. No, 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 I know. You'll have to prime the machine first. Listen. I'm just looking around, all right? Let's see what tools he has. He's had. working on his machine to the very end. Are those bullets? Yeah, I was just going to say, those look like those look like rounds. Okay. But very big ones. Yeah. Okay. I think they're I, like the fuses or whatever. Yeah, fuses that you like plug in. They look yeah. like fuse shaped holes here somewhere, I'm sure. Okay. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh, shit. What's it doing? Obviously, Everett is circumventing the engineering of Grace's system interconnectivity. What? High voltage is being directed at the centers of Grace's primary systems. Oh. This first terminal is directed at empathy processing, and the machine is designed to paralyze each system long enough to force it back into Grace's intended configuration. There are still two other coils to prime. So, oh, wow. it's like knocking us out, then throwing us in a pot where we're melted back together into Grace? Huh. That is a shockingly fitting analogy. Wow, it's almost like you should trust kids more. Huh, Logic? Maybe maybe you should just listen Never. to kids. I don't know. Never. Sounds like sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Never listen to a child. <laughs> As I've said before, this is why I'm a teacher. Children have perspectives of looking at things that um and I'm specifically talking about uh, children who are just awakening to things like 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 nine, eight, nine, ten years old. Um, 
when they're able to question existence for the first time and sort of able to understand greater, more complex issues and things like that, that that's when you should be like really listening. It's really, really important. Not only does it build their self-esteem, but it also like they'll they'll come up with things you haven't thought of before. That's the whole point. That's why it's so cool to to sort of watch people grow and develop. So yeah. And, and the pal is completely correct, and I don't know why Logic is shocked here. Because logically... It kind of sounds like MJ just wants to steal children's ideas. Lo <laughs> <laughs> logically, <laughs> one, would, one would assume that humans would advance as they move through generations. One would logically assume that you shouldn't put all the decision-making on the oldest people in society because they're not going to be around to reap the benefits or... Uh, or deal with the consequences. That's uh, fine. They just don't make decisions that benefit people other than themselves. Yeah, well, that's that is the that is what they end up doing. But say uh, that to Biden. He's old. Yeah. Ex no, I I agree. I agree one hundred percent. We talk about him all the time. More than we should, to be honest. <laughs> okay, that's two. And then what? Come on, arm day. Arm day. Yeah. That's three. What happened? Oh. One of the empathy relays is not aligned. Something must have happened to it over the years. Hmm. Okay. Oh, empathy's gone. Yeah, she so she can't Look speak to us right now. Energy beam. Yeah, okay. There's one. There's two. Oh, okay. That's not Yeah, okay. Let's go. Do you think it will hurt to be turned into Grace? Not at all, pal. You'll return to where oh, she's you were here. before Addie arrived. After that, we'll become Grace. What if I don't like being Grace? It will be different. But who's to say you won't like it? That is very sad. Okay, we're, yeah, we're, that, I, something tells me this would not be safe. What am I supposed to do here? Can you cut the power? The machine sequence has been initiated. I don't believe we can shut it down without damaging it. Oh, no. The voltage would be enough to kill you. Oh, I might yeah, be able be to block the power for a few seconds to allow you to get across the beam. Okay. What do you think, Mom? I know how far you've come and what this means to you. And I really don't see any other way. I'll give you enough time to get there, Addy. Come on, you're pal. You're gonna talk me out of this, Mom? I think you already know what you're going to do. I... I think I need to stay out of your way. Oh my okay. goodness. I'm ready when you are. Do it. What a good mom. Total mom. Go. Absolutely incredible Mommy. parenting. Thank you, mom. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. How are you doing, pal? So far, so good. Oh, sh uh, shit. Oh, keep moving, Addy. This is getting hard. Come on, pal. No, no, no. Oh, I was doing it. Well done. Hold on, Addy. Thanks, mom. Don't worry. You'll have to move, Addy. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I can't hold it. Oh, Addy, shit. Addy. Oh, shit. Whew. Okay. Go, pal. Go, pal. Go, 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 go. You did it, pal. I'm super proud of you. Whew. I did. Didn't I? Yes. Well done. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, couple things. Firstly, when we when fall... When you find out you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> what? <laughs> First of all, uh, mom... Uh... Mom immediately praises when we catch the bar as opposed to like looking scared. We don't get any we don't get any oh! or like oh no or like watch out or whatever. It's she stays calm. She says, "Well done. Keep going." It's so it's just it's just such good parenting. Super cool. We also see that Mom here understands the importance of getting out of someone's way when they've decided what they want to do, just making sure that they have the tools in order to do it successfully. And then let them try. And if they fail, they fail. But it's their failure. It's not yours. If you... Um, a lot of... Uh, a, a lot of parents will personalize. I, I've, had, I've had enough conversations with my mom to know this. But... <laughs> but... Uh, parents will generally... It's, it's an instinct to personalize your kids' mistakes as your mistakes. Because you didn't prepare them enough to make them. Or... You didn't sort of give them the tools they needed. But in reality, a lot of the time, it's okay to get out of your kid's way and let them and let them make those mistakes. Very, very difficult thing to do. 
uh, and hard not to personalize, but something to, uh, but but still very important. I don't know if the actual parent wants to weigh in on this, but if not, uh, we can keep going. Uh, no, I was just gonna say, like, it's, for starters, the not gasping or freaking out, like, that is so hard. Yeah. Like, I yeah, 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 yeah. still, I've been a parent for all years, and I still struggle with that. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's wild. It's so ingrained, and, like, even when I think I'm doing good, I'm, <laughs> I'm yeah. like, ooh, that, mm. Good job, you got this. <laughs> like, it's so hard. I mean, it is. It is um, literally a. It is literally a human reaction to react like that. You've got to. You've got to like. I wouldn't say it's necessarily sure. natural, but it's more like, it's generational. Like this has been for as long as we can remember. We react when someone, when when a child does that. The first thing we go is, ooh, you know. Um, yeah, I, I don't. Sure. I don't necessarily think. I think that like maybe the earliest of humans must have been like, that's. If you made a mistake, it's like you good. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. You know. <laughs> yeah. That's just me. It's like, <laughs> you good buddy. Yeah. Right, good. That's how. That's how it should be. I think. Did you learn your lesson? Yeah. It should be. <laughs> you. You. You okay? Are you hurt? Well, that's. That's mostly just me with Ollie. Honestly. <laughs> you good. You good, buddy. <laughs> Uh, All right, enough nap time. Get up. <laughs> <laughs> Walk oh. it off. <laughs> All right, here we go. Is it safe to touch? Very likely. Likely we'll have to do, I guess. Okay, let's go. You should be able to direct it toward the conducting rod attached to the room's central column. Oh, Jesus, that's fast. That's Yay! It. You should now be able to lock in empathy by closing the switch on Everett's machine. Wait, how do we get... Ah, that's you are right. a great friend, Addy. Never had so much fun before you arrived. Oh. Thanks, pal. You didn't it, exist before she arrived. I don't remember anything yeah. before you arrived. <laughs> Maybe next time, we'll get to do more of the really fun stuff. What do you, you mean? mean? Dangerous stuff? What do you mean Perhaps next time? something you can learn from Addie's caution. I guess. But <laughs> then, you'll always wonder what you might have missed out on. There is nothing wrong with valuing a long, comfortable life. Do we really have to become Grace? It's the way we were designed, pal. There's nothing to be afraid of. <sighs> Damn, dude. I'm feeling things. Pal is talking about next time, and I'm like, is this going to be a big loop? Like, what's going to... Like, am I going to get my mind messed with here? Like, what's going to happen? <laughs> after... But there's no next chance time. Of Sonar. So. Yeah, after Chance of Sonar, specifically. Yeah, I'm... You have to think, though, like... They're AI, they're not... They're not mortal. They're not yeah, human. Yeah, right? they, don't, so, they don't understand life in the same way that we do. Yeah. yeah, and they also have that childlike sense for Pal where, like, there's lots of children that don't fully grasp. Yeah, there what, isn't yeah. a coming back from that, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like that they added that, and I like the way they kind of, like, navigate it. Yeah, yeah. That without being like, Pal, you're done. Like, they, they yeah. you know, validated what he said and yeah. stuff. It's very cool. I, I really like how the, how everyone seems to treat Pal, except for Logic, of course. <laughs> so this will lock in and paralyze yeah. empathy? It will. Leaving control, Logic, and myself to aid you going forward. Oh. It's unclear what we will be once Grace is formed. But I'm forever grateful that you have survived to see her. Thanks, Mom. Me too. Say hi to Grace. I don't Grace say that just still, still too much I to will, go. Pal. So locking in empathy takes down half of our uh yeah locking in empathy takes down half of our uh, uh, uh configurations because empathy mom and pal have all been from empathy so yeah i i think also uh, sound design again the music kicks in at points where important decisions come in which is meant to like wire our brain into let's lock in it's decision making time you know I think that's that's very purposefully done and very effective as well. Here we go. You Bye, really Empathy. Best, Daddy. Oh, I don't want to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I love you. No! Finally over. We'll be able to hear ourselves think. <laughs> you will need to prime the next sequence, Addy. Okay, very kid, very like, um, very childlike response to that, by the way. If a kid, um, 
has had someone who like encourages them a lot in their life like kids kids fall in love with their teachers all the time that's the thing that happens all the time uh like i i wanted to marry my um i think my damn who was i think it was my hockey coach when i was in field hockey not ice hockey because i'm south african i think it was uh <laughs> when, when, I, when, when I was like nine or ten, I wanted to marry my hockey coach because she was like super nice. Um, and and uh, yeah, it's a very it's a very natural thing for that to happen. <clears throat> Something that we shouldn't I shame. I should have realized I was queer oh. <laughs> when I wanted to marry my dad. <laughs> oh. I think um, this is literally I just realized that. <laughs> <laughs> Are we are we going? I'm oh, just having this realization are, are we right having now. A, an, unlocking are something. we having an own epiphany? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I think this comes from not understanding children's sexuality at all. I think in the I think we we need to For stop sure. we need to stop uh, we need to stop treating children's sexuality as something that is so taboo. And and never okay. never judge children for exploring things in the way that they that they feel that they need to. Okay, it's logic time. It's kind of weird. Logic's one is blue, but she appears to us as yellow, which is a little bit strange. The only other AI that's appeared to us as blue before is Alan. So, yeah. Getting a little... Uh, nothing in this game has been accidental so far, so I'm a little bit... You should not expect any emotional send-off from me. <laughs> Still not a fan of empathy? A fan? No. But I have to admit, you made a compelling case for their use. Hmm. The fact that you continually resisted the most direct route to your goal would appear to defy logic. <laughs> but the distractions presented by these emotional configurations yielded some new understanding. Wow! Are you okay with becoming Grace? It is how we were designed. I would have to be okay with it. It's almost as if logic is rooted in emotion and the two can't be separated. Wow! Ah. <laughs> uh. And anyone who, anyone who would claim to to separate logic from emotion and empathy is incredibly cringe. And you'll see them on on social media all the time. That people make these incredibly cringe videos about how, like, I am I use cold hard facts and and I don't allow petty emotions to get in my way. But what this time? Emotions are what really if the important. Logic relays dude. will not power on. You will need to make your way out to the relay. Which one is it? It's that the one. The one producing a small electrical fire. Oh. <laughs> Everett was quite the electrician. Uh. One thing I do not understand, Addy, is why come all this way without any intention of returning home mm. or surviving on this station for more than eight hours? Good question. I told this to Mom. Yeah. There was nothing for me to return to. Ah, but that does little to explain why you came here. Guilt. Guilt, 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 guilt. She doesn't think of her life as worth living past doing this one thing to undo her mistake. She's looking for redemption. But redemption does not mean... She's come here to die, basically. She's come here to redeem herself, and if she doesn't redeem herself, then she dies trying, because that would be preferable to living with her guilt. And that's the real tragedy for people who make these kinds of mistakes that death is preferable to guilt. But really, I I will I will quote um, one of my players in my Star Wars campaign for this. It's one of the best things I've heard, is that we don't actually want the death. We just want the pain to go away. The the guilt just we we just need to learn to forgive ourselves. And I think through this journey Addy might do that. Okay, how do we do this? What's wrong with it? The relay's dip switch has reset. The dip switch. It will switch. need to be configured to its hardware ID one. You're a dip three. switch. You're a dip switch. <laughs> one one three. No. Okay. This looks complex. Oh wow! I just understand you will not be wanting ah. my help, so it will not be offered. Oh. Huh. I'll also let you lay in the bed that you've made. <laughs> So you can't, because you because you've not asked Jack for help in opening the doors, you cannot ask for a hint. That is incredibly cool. You remember, the yeah. number you are trying to reach is oh. one three. 
113, okay. All right, so that goes 64, all right. That goes 32. Oh, 16, 8, 4, 2, this and then, and then one. Okay. Taking so long. Okay, 1, 2, 4, know, right? 8, 16, 32, 64. We're looking for 113. So, 64. 96. 112. 113. Easy. Can go lock in lock. Quick maths! So why do you think I'm here? If you will allow me to simulate empathy for a moment. Good question, Addy. I think you are here because you wanted to be part of something bigger than your life on Earth offered you. Did okay. You found that? So far, you've only succeeded in finding things you left behind. Oh. Your mum, your power, oh. your conscience. I now understand that only Grace has the potential to provide you with anything beyond that. Oh, shit! Uh, thanks for helping me get this far. Well, it is, indeed, what we are here for. Wow! I, j I just got... I just got roasted. Oh, God. <laughs> this is like, um... Oh, wow, that's so cool. Yeah, to, so when when she I was I was about to make this whenever we talk to mom I was about to make this call that when she says thanks mom She says it like she's talking to her actual mom and that makes me feel like Wow, that makes me feel like she's she's just sort of she's projecting her mom onto this or transferring rather transferring her mom onto this um, uh, uh, Onto this AI, but actually she really is and pal as well. Oh wow, this is so interesting. Good well, call, logic. This is it. Just one more step. I hope my assistance has been adequate. You've it been has. great, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Forward, Jack. Addy. And for the record, <laughs> I do hope your six hundred million mile, three hundred day journey won't be for naught. Me too. Perhaps it's already been worth it. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. Ugh. Goodbyes are always very sad. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, not you. We named the monkey Jack. Here we go. Just you and me, Control. Oh. Jack. Sulking, I see. Oh. He's not speaking to us anymore. I bear witness to the completion of your betrayal. <laughs> ah. He speaks. I offered you an easy path to the restoration of order in the solar system. And you chose <laughs> this path instead. I chose my own path. You must Damn stop right. this foolishness, Addy. Why? What do you want, Control? You must not do this, Addy. Oh. He wants Control, control obviously, up. but like... There's gotta be something more complex to this, right? He doesn't seem like... He seems like a simple-minded thing, but that's that's what makes me think it's just not... Of course there's a... Oh! Oh, there's no problem with this one! Oh, the game does not want us to go through the same puzzle like, like again and again. This is very cool. Sorry, Addy, I cannot let you do this. Oh. Oh no. Oh. What are you doing? It's become clear that the restoration of grace in this manner is entirely unnatural. You must not proceed. No. No. I will. I, oh, that's a really Human tough angle, yeah. Needs Stop uh, it, Control. You're going to break something. I'm saving you from Everett's corrupting influence. No! He was just trying to bring Grace back. No! I yeah. thought you were here to help humankind. You are insured. Oh. No! Goodbye, Control. Wow. You fucked it. Grace? Yes, Addy. <gasps> You're... Really bright. Ah, yes. I would say, what's up, Grace? It's been a while since I've entertained guests. Do you remember Everett? I do. He was a wonderful keeper, though I should say I do not keep favorites. I have a few questions. Oh, wow. You wish to know where I've gone? I'd like to know that, yes. The voice is amazing. Let me show you, Addy. At the center of this room is the spire's main antenna. If you hold on, I can take you the rest of the way. A voice that combines all the voices that we've seen so far in some way. Incredible. Incredible casting. You can see that there is a, um, 
you can see that there's a there's that I heard logic first, but then I heard mom, and then there was a bit of empathy in there as well. Just amazing work. Also, um, the tone of voice here feels more human than anything else, and yet also speaks in a way that is quite. I don't want to say superior, but like, yeah, it's tough to... Uh, authoritative? Yeah, authoritative, yeah. Also, Control was saying something, and I interrupted him, and now I feel bad, because I was I was kind of scared to press it all the way and mash properly, because I, I'd like hearing all the dialogue, but it's okay. What's done is done, and now we get to hear Grace, and this music is... I mean, that might again... be for the best, because if you waited too long, he might have broken yeah, something. Yeah, maybe he broke something, I was just going to say, yeah. All right, here we go. I was programmed with one purpose, to serve the best interests of humankind. Okay. There was much conflict and division in the solar system, and I was designed to listen and learn. Okay. All were welcome to teach me, and I am the sum of those teachings. The wishes. I am the sum of human need. How are you able to lead us? I could see all desire, all the potential conflict, all points of compromise throughout the solar system. I sent instructions for all manner of human endeavor through sermons delivered by keepers throughout the ages. And from the smallest ripples of wisdom that were sent from this fire, returned a perpetual wave of good fortune that moved humanity onto a more orderly path. Wow. Whoa. Look at that. So, what happened? Sounds like things were perfect. Ah, yes. Perfect. It was the wishes that led me to think hard about the notion of perfect. Uh-huh. Without conflict and struggle, people were losing their desire. They had nothing to overcome, to strive for. You shut yourself down. I believed I was standing in your way. So you will be leaving again? These beacons are meant to call humanity back to me. But whether or not they should is not my choice to make. Who chooses them? Me. You, Addy, are the first keeper to grace this fire in the past 1,000 years. Do you recall the water lily you chose in my garden? It thrived where others could not. Oh. I believe it still suits you. You were determined to overcome challenges on your own. An insatiable curiosity drives you to explore. These are all my choices! To adventure. Yeah! You took the time to listen to the voices of so many who traveled here. You threw rocks with pounds. <laughs> and you play the theremin wonderfully. Ah, oh, amazing. <laughs> you, Addy, are precisely what I told humans could become again. Oh. For a millennium, people from all corners of the solar system had come here to tell me their desires. So, I put it to you, Addy. Do you wish for me to return? Oh. Oh. No! I don't get to make the choice! <laughs> no! What no. do you mean? That's so stupid. Worst game. Oh, Worst no. game. <laughs> oh, oh wow, Alan and Jack were the same were the same voice actor. That's so cool. That's so shit! No! <laughs> I don't want I wanna make the choice! Why? Uh goodness. Wow, what a what an incredible game. So cool. Oh. Okay. I knew you were gonna love this game. <laughs> uh, all right. I mean, we we still got something to say. What what would you do? What would you do? Well, what would, would you, you bring? Do? Would thing. you would you bring Grace back or not? Yeah. You guys, give me your give me your thoughts. Yes, I will well, I... bring. Back. Okay. Okay. Tell me why. Small excursion, like, she said. Oh, oh shit! Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Follow a couple leads and then back to the books. 
I know I should be more assertive. <laughs> it's for her safety, too. Not that she ever thinks about my safety. <laughs> this is very C-3PO. All the signs were there at the Wagner site. <laughs> Let me bake in the mercury sun for two days. <laughs> Doesn't seem so bad now. <laughs> she could have at least shut the door behind her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh... <laughs> Dude, the the achievements are amazing. Okay, all right, go ahead, uh, Tiger. Why would you why would you activate Grace again? Because I think like like I could not lead the human rage. That's logic because I'm young. Okay. But I think like there are not a lot of humans left. I. That's true. We and are. There's no. From yeah. what we know now, humans are going through a dark age. Yeah. So they might be they might be how suffering can, at the moment. How can you, as a human, control the whole a one world like just one planet? That's yeah. You can never do that. So Grace, she can control and decide and see everything in the universe. So mm. if she can do it way better than us and makes decisions that don't harm us, why not? Okay. Let her. Okay. Let her rip. Hmm. So great. Well, if we reactivate Grace and we are the keeper that like sort of speaks for her, maybe things could end up different. But Grace did explain to us that she shut herself down. Uh, when um, she shut herself down because she she believed that she was hindering humanity's progress. She believed that she was causing um people to just be bored because she'd taken away all of their conflict and all of their struggle which is necessary for human growth and well, maybe what... yeah maybe bringing her back gives her a chance to try something different yeah yeah that's absolutely a, a possibility for sure uh, and we know that Everett was trying to reactivate her so Maybe Everett, maybe Everett didn't know that she shut herself off. I mean, look, the last, the the first words that Grace said when we turned on the power were Everett. So I think, I think that the last thing that Grace did before she shut herself down was, was see Everett. Maybe I think she, she realized what he'd done and then, and then shut herself down or something like that. But she didn't seem as attached to Everett when we woke her up than she than we thought she did when when we woke her when we sort of switched the power on. Okay. Grace seems to be self-aware of the fact that she shut herself off. She's self-aware enough to 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 theorize, but remember she created something that was perfect, but then if she shut herself off, then clearly it wasn't perfect. I think Grace, as an AI, has the one fatal flaw that is that perfection is not what we want. We are striving for something that is as close to harmony as possible, but human struggle is of course necessary. That doesn't mean we need to fight wars, but but it does mean we need we need struggle. But that but. Here's the thing. Struggle doesn't mean struggle for survival. Humans do not, especially modern humans, should not be at the stage where we need to struggle to survive. Because what we are doing right now is... Um, and and when, I, when I say struggle, I mean struggle in the way we're doing right now, where we can barely survive. The struggle that we have right now as we live to survive is manufactured struggle. It's not real. Here's how, this is how the earth works. The earth provides resources in abundance for humans who live on it. In abundance, very important. The earth provides resources in abundance. Then humans use labor to turn those resources into things that we can use to both survive and then to enjoy our existence. We have developed into a place where we create things and then keep those things behind a paywall so that there is an extra barrier to our survival. Modern humans with the technology that we have 
should not struggle to survive anymore. We should be able, we should have developed to the stage where we can have our basic survival needs met already. And our struggles will come in different ways in in creating new art, in exploring the human condition, in exploring science and technology, not in having our decisions made for us by an AI and then stagnating across thousands of years. I don't, I don't foresee any human development at all if we were governed by an AI. I think an AI would do its best, like Grace did. I mean, she said it herself. I think Grace did her best to, to grant us uh, she basically saw humanity as it was in the moment and then said, okay, how do I make this situation perfect? How do I satisfy everyone's needs in this situation perfect? And then spent the next a thousand years just doing that. And, and I, I definitely theorize that even though we managed to colonize the solar system, I don't think that, I don't think that it made us any better. And that is why Grace then shut herself down. But as Ash says, reactivating her after having made this this revelation uh not to govern humanity but to maybe have a hand in 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 helping humanity back on track might not be the worst idea what would you do ash would you would you reactivate her or not uh, i would yeah okay very cool uh why it's not to do things exactly like she'd done before but to work together in a different format yeah yeah i i don't know i think it could be possible and i think my i was fairly i was pretty adamant that that we don't need to be governed by an ai i still believe that but hearing grace hearing grace like confess that she shut herself off and hearing why just makes me believe in what i was talking about earlier that guy who the guy that we listened to in that wish who asked for you know, like some kind of conflict, some kind of struggle, but not a war. <clears throat> Based on those fallacies um, that we somehow need to to fight to survive, we don't anymore. That that part is done. We're modern humans. We're supposed to fight to advance. That survival, that that need to survival. We already have an abundance of resources provided to us by the Earth. That's how the Earth works. The Earth runs on infinite food glitches. Like if you if you take a tomato seed from one tomato, you can plant a tomato plant that grows seven tomatoes. That literally just infinite food glitch. Like we we have more resources yeah, than we infinite need. Infinite tomatoes. Yeah, exactly. We have more resources than we need to survive. And and so arriving at the modern age, we should not be struggling for that survival anymore. Our struggle should be greater our struggle should be to unite humans our struggle should be to to explore cultures our struggle should be to explore art and music and technology to go beyond mere survival and tragically the world we live in today manufactures that struggle for survival and then sells it to us as a necessary part of being a human when it's not we could be so much more and I think Grace, as an AI, understood, maybe, on some level, that what she was doing was simply preserving the status quo and just creating a perfect status quo, which we can see with the wishes was anything but perfect. It was hell. It was purgatory. Because in an effort to make everyone happy, Grace just paused humanity's real advancement and just made people bored. I, she said herself she was holding humanity back. Yeah, yeah. And that is that is because she was created at a time where maybe humans were not united or um or you know we still lived under capitalism or any 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 reason like that that would have kept humanity stagnating in the way that it is. Yeah. So I think after hearing Grace out in this moment and and hearing what she did, I, I think I might be changing my mind on what I wanted to do initially here. All right, Taters, what would you do? Let me read your chat here first. And that's the thing. Oh, 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 Taters is dying. Okay. 
That's the thing. We don't have to struggle. There is food thrown out daily, yet people are dying of starvation. There are houses and office buildings sitting empty, but people die in the elements. Yes, absolutely. We, we do not have to struggle to survive anymore. We should not. And that means that our struggle for survival is fake. It is, it is put in front of us. The people at the top don't have to struggle to survive. All right, Taters, what would you do? Would you reactivate Grace? <coughs> I don't know if I can. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm trying so hard. <coughs> just say yes or no. You okay. <laughs> just, just give us a sign. I've been coughing for a while, oh, and I've no. got like tears streaming down my face. Oh, oh. no! Oh. <laughs> uh. Okay, uh, no. Yes. I'll type. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. type it. <clears throat> would you reactivate Grace with the possibility that she would make, that she would do things different this time? Or would you leave her be and let humanity grow out of its struggle to survive already? Bear in mind, after Grace's so-called destruction, Humanity's been in a dark age for 900 years. That is a long time to be struggling to survive. Basically, Grace's destruction reset our history. And I don't know if it should have been done. Essentially, the, the motivation for not reawakening Grace in this moment would be is would be basically um don't like humanity needs to struggle i think that i think that's it but i believe in my opinion that comes from a fundamental <coughs> misunderstanding of what struggle actually means especially for modern <coughs> humans like i've said like i just said uh we don't need to struggle to survive anymore our struggles must evolve if we constantly live in a state of struggling for survival that is where the true uh boredom lies Okay, go I, ahead, Taters. Can you speak? I think so. Okay. I was testing it. Okay. <clears throat> I think I got this. Go for it. I think a couple things. Okay. Addie said they were in a golden age <clears throat> with Grace. With Grace, yeah. And that there was peace. But that doesn't mean that there was no struggle. That's true. We know that Addie doesn't know everything that was going on. Yeah. And that she doesn't know everything that, <clears throat> like, led up to this. Or, like, they she didn't even know that they worshipped yes. <clears throat> this AI god. Yes. Um, just that she was looking for an AI that, at one point, helped people. Yeah. So we... Oh, you, you cut off for a while. Just hold on. <coughs> uh, Can okay. you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. So we... We don't know that there wasn't struggle. There could have still been so, so much struggle. We have to keep in mind that, like, <clears throat> we only know bits and pieces. We only know what was carried on, like you mentioned before. Like, we mm -hmm. only know who was left to write the history books. Yeah, to give the wishes, basically. That's so the, the only real evidence of... Said. Yeah. Yeah, well, and that's the thing, is, like, we do know that people left the planet... Yeah. So why did no one that left the planet, like, why weren't those stories carried on? Mm, mm. Um, so obviously there's this huge disconnect between the information that the archaeologists and the historians have now mm. versus what, what really was actually happened. happening. Mm. So to me, I don't think when they say we were in this golden age, I don't think that there was no struggle. And I think that was evidenced by a couple of like the one guy that was like, I just want to have a good crop. Leave me alone. Like, mm. I just want to live my life. Mm. I don't want he, your magical fairy tale because it's he, not helping me. Yeah, he <laughs> mentioned his farm was barely making enough to, like, meet um, mm -hmm. expenses. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. So for me, if you are just asking me if I would, you know, reinstate an AI and end and, and suffering, yes. But I don't think that's really the question. To, like from what I took from the game, okay. <clears throat> I think that 
because we don't know. We don't know that they weren't struggling, and the things that we were told did indicate that they probably were, or at least some of them were. Yeah. So I don't think that the AI would necessarily fix that. <clears throat> mm. What do you think um, the AI would do But if there was, then? like, massive... <clears throat> Well, and that's the thing is like, it could be, it could be an okay thing, but we also know that there's parts of this AI that are like control yeah, that want to just take over and yeah. be the ruling overlord, whatever. So there is like that huge risk there to mm. me. <clears throat> the first, the first thing. I think thing... that. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> I think that, <clears throat> hang on. <clears throat> the first thing that Grace I'm Yeah, yeah, you're good. The first thing that Grace told us was that she had given humanity everything that it needs. But then we saw from that one farmer that he just wanted a good crop, and we saw from the other guy that he was bored, and but Grace herself told us that she didn't see any struggle. Um but again, this <clears throat> this brings to light the fact that even an AI god is fallible in missing things because she can only call a certain amount of people up to the spire and what they're like a million wishes there there are eight billion people on the planet alone there's no possible way that grace could tune into mm -hmm. the needs of every human in the solar system let alone even like even on the earth let alone the solar system so yeah and empathy makes note um at some point saying like it was just as important for grace to hear like happy things as it was to hear their struggles so there was obviously struggles yeah yeah so to me if it was bring back this ai that can end all wars yeah sure maybe but yeah. nobody's really mentioned that the dark age is war yeah I so think, i think this one game to me it doesn't solve all the problems like i don't yeah. think that there is one light switch that's gonna fix everything i think mm. sharing some of the information that Addy learned <clears throat> while yeah. at the Grace Spire and bringing other people in to learn from Grace, maybe. Mm. But I don't think turning on Grace and taking over the whole solar system with the teachings of Grace is necessarily the answer. Because I don't believe forcing one religion on everybody is the answer. <clears throat> Abs absolutely not. I don't you know think I, mean? I don't think anyone here is saying that either. I think the no, no, no. When <clears throat> when I but when... I think that's one of the risks. Yes, yeah, that is a risk for sure. <clears throat> <laughs> Good job on making it. Now you can cough again. The the real the real uh, the real thing about I, th I think one of the big uh, uh, creative boundaries, I suppose, or restrictions on this game is the amount of things we don't know. As Tater said, we don't know what the Dark Age is like right now. We don't know. We, all we know is that Addy is just trying to. Oh, we never actually learn whether Addie did the thing. So I'm going to assume that she did. I'm going to assume that she was the one who crashed the thing and she feels guilt for her mistake. But we've never... Um, we, we, don't, we don't know what life is like on the other planets. We don't know what, like Tater said, we don't know what the Golden Age is like. Uh, we don't know what kind of struggle there was or wasn't. We don't know if there were wars. Apparently, according to Grace, there were no wars. And I think a, a war would be something that an AI would be aware of, at least. But the the big bad part of that the very obviously bad part is treating an ai like a god and subscribing the entire population of the solar systems like one religion which is just not okay in any way so if i'm ever if i'm if i'm ever going to wake up grace i would only ever do it as an advisor and I would be the one, or I would I would organize some kind of democratically elected body that would take Grace as an advisor on what to do, but something that we could disagree with, and something that we could something that we could deviate from if necessary, and letting letting human error play a part as well, because remember AI is not perfect, not infallible. AI is a product of its creator. Eventually, the AI will display flaws that the creator has because the creator has inherent flaws nothing is perfection nothing is perfect at all and and grace is the same thing and i think it it is the opposite of progress to suggest that one single entity can decide for everything that's not how anything should work 
the more voices we have, the more diversity we have, the more uh, context we possess about situations, the more well-informed our choices can be and the better our decisions can be with better outcomes for more people. And, and I think that reactivating grace here would only be tenable if we eliminated the idea of her becoming a god again and instead we let her be an advisor to other democratically elected people who would um uh, who would then bring about an era of you know uh, a, a sort of a, a mix if you will an ai that can see things that humans can't and a human that can see things that ai can't and that and having that balance between the two i think would be good I think I don't think that AI is inherently bad. Uh, AI is whatever we make it to be. We have to use AI as a tool to create happiness in people, to create, uh, to 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 help uh, foster an easier life, or maybe a maybe a better life for as many people as possible. But that does not mean that AI needs to take over. Like very obviously not. So yeah, I would reactivate Grace, but I would understand that there is a risk that she would have that element in her that wants to control everything and I would I would relegate her 100% to a um, uh, to an advisor to another body that we would create maybe the keepers could become like the actual authority but again democratically elected <clears throat> I'm an advocate for sharing the wealth of information the grace spire could have but I don't think I would turn it on I also think it is pretty telling that no one went and found grace for a thousand years maybe i i don't yeah that's another thing we don't know it is a pretty yeah you are right it is pretty telling that over a, that it addies the first person in a, in a thousand years to successfully find grace like that's a long time do you think maybe people just gave up i'm sure people tried in the first hundred years you know i mean we found other evidence of life here that that tried to find grace but couldn't we were the first one to get in But yeah, the the problem with not, the, the reason why I think not turning it on is, is I don't think something I would do is that you, Grace has a wealth of knowledge, like you said. And I think if humanity is going through something that even they themselves call a dark age, then it seems helpful to at least find something that can help you through it, right? Even if that person is not an AI god, which I don't... And I think we should try and stop her from doing that. Like we should activate her in new ways. We should, like, somehow alter the programming and things like that. But Grace was one way to reach everyone in the solar system, you know? So, yeah, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of decisions here. I don't know if I would 100% turn her on. I'm just thinking, like... I would more lean towards that and and for those reasons that I think she could help not that she could take over again but she could help <sighs> but that of course is only my opinion and there is no right or wrong answer here uh, there are many nope, people you're wrong my opinions right I believe uh, you're right however my, my apologies how could I be so blind I think that there are many people who would probably go for control here and who would actually side with control like from the beginning just because it's easier to it's easier to just settle for a greater authority that and to just not question it <clears throat> i vote ash for ai goddess all right cool ash you're the ai goddess now oh hell yeah personally i would be more likely to try and split up the ai again and shut down control not a bad idea not a bad idea we have shown that control is, I think maybe rather than shut down control, I think have control in the back just as a reminder for what we should try to go against. Because I don't think control is really good for anyone except a, an, an illustration of what not to do. Yeah. And with that said, uh, that's where we're going to end things. There's a lot to think about with this game, and I would love, uh, obviously I pass this off to anyone watching, if you have different opinions, if you think 
that there's something else that you would do if there's a perspective you have that we haven't considered here that's totally normal and i would love to hear about it if you if you want to make if you want to make use of youtube comments i mean every now and then we, people do but but yeah we should have just put pal in charge i think i think pal would create an amazing universe called pal world that's why his name is pal yeah i yeah. think i think pal Everyone's would pal. i think pal would make a world uh and it would, it would it would be it would call it would be called pal's world and then over time maybe the apostrophe would just disappear for shorthand and we would just call it pal world and um that uh that would be totally fine i think <laughs> mm -hmm. all right yeah, like I said, like uh, regardless of what you would do at the end of this game, the themes that this game challenge are multiple. They contain multitudes, all the way from our opinions on the role of AI in a human society to how do you define struggle according to, uh, according to your perspectives. Should we struggle to survive in a modern age? I don't believe we should. I believe that most of our survival struggles are manufactured nowadays. And uh, I believe our struggles should evolve past just the need to, to eat food, uh, particularly because of that one single fact that the Earth provides abundance. However, uh, many other people have different perspectives. That's totally fine. And of course, this game has a lot of replayability. The sound is amazing. The music is amazing. The voice acting is so good. Feels very real. Despite the fact we're talking to AIs all the time, it's amazing. They feel super real and super engaging. I love the personalities behind everyone. The casting was inspired really good choices for everyone and the backstory is just enough to give us a slightly informed opinion but we we still are missing a lot of information and i think that's on purpose i think that the missing information in this game is meant for you to fill the gaps with your own perceptions which is totally normal i think this is a game about about perspective um yeah so all the themes that run through this game create a really really lovely package and i i can't Yo, uh, another na another game uh, for the books. I think, uh, yeah, I think we've actually cleared quite a lot of games uh, since the start of this community. And to have this knocked out as another one of them is really, uh, yeah, one for the Hall of Fame. Very, very, very fun experience. I really enjoyed everything that we did here. And really good for, um, uh, for discussions as well. Some of the other minor themes that could come out is even like the way we treat children and... Uh, the really the, just the way we treat people in general <clears throat> the way the AIs talk to each other is how important is empathy how important is logic how are the two combined together and yeah that um, that sort of that sort of the, the, the flaw in this game is so open for interpretation and that I think is so uh, is so beautiful about this game Ah, oh, not to mention, speaking of yeah. beautiful, that it is beautiful. The The Unreal Engine really shines here. You can really see uh, a lot of the, especially like the reflective qualities, the surfaces look so crisp and clean. The The scenery is beautiful. The light shaft effects are amazing. It's just a really, really, really pretty game. And that's yeah, it. Yeah, it does. Like the great Master Uwe once said, yesterday is history. Correct. Correct. <clears throat> I love Uguay. Yeah, he said yesterday, history, today is a new day. Live it. And that's what he said. Wait, Uguay said that? Wait, no, 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 no. Didn't he say, he said yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. Didn't he? Yeah, and then he said the universe or something. Something with the universe. But that I cannot remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. It was like the meme version. The universe is the universe. <laughs> uh, oh, ah, right. Oh, it was a meme. Okay, I understand. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, by the way, Tiger, thank you for joining us today. It was really nice to have you around, and thank you for sharing your experiences. It was, yeah, it was really, it was really special. So, I hope you'll be. Uh, uh, I hope you'll be around during uh, uh, in the Discord a little bit more. <clears throat> but no pressure, obviously. You don't yeah. have to. There, there's no pressure on you to do anything but just exist and be here as you are. So uh, thank you for being here. 
Right, I'm with you there, and if, if Grace confirmed that she was going to do that, then I'd 100% switch it on. Yeah, 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 for sure. I want to play the game again and see what following control does. Me too! If we had an extra hour, if it wasn't 2 o'clock in time to end the stream, then I would probably just run through the decisions again. But maybe we can go check a video and see what happens if you follow control. I'm going to go look that up when the stream Ooh. is over. For now, uh, what a wonderful experience that was. A nice two-stream knockout of the park for a game. I can't wait to see what the next game we're going to play is. Thank you, everyone. Um, thank you, Ash and Taters and Alferg for a little bit for joining us today. I appreciate your input as always. And if you are watching now or if you're watching on the VOD, I hope you've had a great time with us today. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do this. <gasps> Goodbye, Discord. Hey, um, uh, yes. thank you for having me, by the way. Anytime. Absolutely like, anytime. It really means something to be part of a community because, yeah, you know, I got bullied a lot and stuff. And they say you'll never have, you'll never make it. So it's really like it means something. It really does something to me that I can be part of your community, man. So I want to thank you for that. You are welcome anytime. We have a lot of people <laughs> in here with this, with a very similar background to you, very similar things that you've dealt with. Uh, some other people in here have dealt with it as well. So I've, I've always intended for this place to be um, a place where people can come in, share perspectives and feel uh, just learn how to be better with each other. So as long as you're there and doing that, then nothing else is expected of you. So thanks for being here. All right. I'll catch you guys later. Take care. All righty. <clears throat> And for the rest of you, uh, let's do it. I will see you all again in about eight hours from now. So if you need to go to sleep, you should, so that you can be in time for the stream tonight. Tonight we'll be back to democracy, I think. And that doesn't mean Helldivers. It might mean Helldivers, depending on, you know, what we decide to do. But I think, um, uh... I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it up to a vote. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do yet. I'll think about it when we get off stream. I'm just gonna take a bit of a break. But for now, I'd like to thank you once again for watching me. If you um, <clears throat> and and being a part of this community. If you haven't joined the Discord or, or already, then you absolutely should. It's been really really nice to have everyone here, and I will see you in the next stream in about eight hours. Now it's two minutes past two in the afternoon. I'm gonna go eat a fruit and drink some water, and you should do the same. Make sure that you are hydrated. And that you are kinder to yourself than you're currently being. And don't forget to pay tithes to our AI overlords. Thank you, everyone. Take care. And I'll see you in the next stream where we do it all over again. Take care. No,